Alright everyone, this is Optinoob and this is my real survival run for Res Resident Evil HD Remaster. Now, I'm going to try and do this under 3 hours, well, I will I will do this under 3 hours, um, but there's not much time to spare, there's only about 20, there's about 20 minutes to spare guys, so you are going to follow, follow this very closely. If you lag too far behind, um, by the time you get to the end of the game, all that time is going to accumulate and it's going to hit you and you probably, you may not get it done in under three. Um, if, you do, if you do get it done in um, over three hours, but under five, you unlock another weapon if you haven't already, the Samurai Edge. And you can use that to just um, do the speed, the three hour speed run trophy on another playthrough. It's not a big problem. I may even do another video on just um, doing the speed run by itself on normal. You know, just for anyone that may need it. But just to um, try and kill two birds with one stone here. There's a lot of trophies, but I'm trying to get the you know the, the bigger ones out of the way. So real survival under three hours, guys. So we unlock the rocket launcher here, and then that means we can use it later on on the no saves run. Um, if you want to do that separately. Um, but yeah, this one real survival. And um, we're playing this duel again, but we will be rescuing nobody. So rescuing nobody this time. Um, a few other things I need to point out. Yeah, you cannot stop your timer, guys. The only way to stop your timer is to put your PS4 into rest mode. I know it's very annoying. You can't put. You can pause the game, but it doesn't stop the timer. I have no idea why I fucking forgot to do that. You know, add that little mechanic in that you can stop the timer. So you have to put PS4 into rest mode, or just save your game and then quit back to the main menu like this. That's the only way to stop the timer, guys. So, yeah, because you can't stop it, it's going to make a bit of trouble uh, for you following a guide and actually playing through it at the same time. So, what you're probably going to have to do, um, you're just going to have to follow it in bits and try and remember. Um, and then once you do go through it, you can try and just view bits quickly. As, you know, when the... Um, um, when you go through doors, when you go through a door, you get what about 10 seconds, uh, 10 20 seconds before the next screen appears. So you can probably watch a quick bit then to see what comes next. Um, but you probably best every time you save, every time you save, um, uh, quit the game and then watch a video up to the next save. So you just get an idea of what we're doing next. I'll be doing commentary obviously. So um. Um, hopefully it'll be quite easy for you to follow but yeah we've got about 20 minutes to spare guys um real survival under three hours um jill uh saving nobody um yeah so um now if you've just loaded the game back up um this won't appear right now what you have to do you have to go and load game and you have to load that you have to load a cleared save a game from normal so you'd load this and um that would make your real survival option appear yeah, that would bring you back to the main menu, and it will be here. So do not go on once again, guys. Excuse me, you need to go on real survival. Right, let's do it, guys. Let's do it. Um, so Jill, Jill again, and I'll use the new costume this time, the army, army Jill. Yeah. So, we need to be quick, guys. There's not going to be any crazy dodging, but there will be some enemies that which which we do, uh, which we do not kill now, but we did our normal, um. Basically, what we'll be doing there instead, we'll find another means to get past them, or a lot of them will just will sprint from door to door, and a lot of the rooms where we do that in, as long as you're quick, the enemies don't won't have chance to grab you, and as long as you do exactly what I do. We still burn the first few enemies that we come to. Yeah, all right, guys. All right. All right. I hope you're ready for this real survival. This is hardest difficulty, by the way. There's no auto aim, remember? That's gonna hit you. Yeah, that no auto aim is gonna hit you a bit, so um Yeah, uh, so straight down here, straight through this door. We need to be quick by the way, guys. Yeah, so because there's no auto aim, um what you can do sometimes is run away from the enemy, like directly away, and then use the right analog stick to do a 180 and then you'd be facing the enemy. So straight through here, you need to skip all cutscenes as well, guys, because cutscene uh cutscene cutscenes? I just say cutscenes. Yeah, cutscenes will still make the timer pass. So straight through here. Barry. Barry. Yeah. <laughs> Up here. There's less, lot less increments, guys, and ammo. By the way. Uh, so grab these increments here. Yep. Grab them. Grab them. Come through here. Up here. 
Yeah, a lot less increments, a lot less defense items. Um, the item boxes are not connected as well. You should know that if you did read the um, if you did read the little message when you unlock the mode. Yeah, the item boxes are not connected. So, um, just make Barry go back upstairs, back down. That starts cutscene. You get lock pick, and then back through this door. Yeah, but um, yeah, item box is not connected. Um, so what you leave from one box, you can only get it from that box then. But if you go on your map, you can view what's in each item box. By the way, just want to make you aware of that. If you go on the on the map, you can view what's in each item box. You just go into the map off um, <clears throat> off that floor, and the item box will be there. And you can sort of select it and then press X and let you see what's inside it. Straight down here, guys. This door. Yep, and healing items you'll find because they're gonna get whatever item box they're gonna get left in there. A lot of healing items we're just gonna leave them on the floor. But just make a mental note of where they are. So if you do need to heal and you're nearby, you can quickly come and heal. There's a green herb in this room. We're gonna leave that there. So if you need to heal later, there's a green herb there. Right. Walk slowly now, guys. Walk slowly. Because there's a zombie in this corner. Just hug this top, hug this wall here. Sneak past him. Come over here. And grab the arrowhead. Yep, yeah, grab that. Golden arrow. Grab this magazine in front of the mirror. And then run straight into the zombie. Then quickly rotate the analog stick and press every button to get free. Go, go. Spam the buttons. Rotate the analog stick. Hopefully, you'll take minimal damage. There we go. I'm just in yellow caution. I've actually, I've actually done that once, and I was in fine. I I don't know why. That zombie attacked me once, and I stayed in fine. Right. We're gonna need this ammo that we get from this blue jewel. So just um, lure that zombie away. You find a lot of zombies, the enemies, are in different positions as well. So just bear that in mind. Right. Once he starts coming down, uh, we quickly run around. We want to push that statue so the blue diamond falls down below. Quickly push it. There we go. Yep. Yeah. We'll get that later. So now through here. Right, the two the two graveyard zombies. We're still going to kill them again. We're still going to kill them just like we did on normal. If you've watched my normal playthrough, guys. They will not. They will not um, turn into crimson heads. So we're going to kill them. Remember, can't auto aim. So you're just going to have to aim in that sort of direction. Right. Again, zombies don't attack you on the stairs. Remember, they'll just spit that acid, which doesn't do much damage. Right. It's hard to say if enemies are really dead now because you can't auto aim. So you're just going to have to wait until the blood appears around them. Right. Kill him now. He won't be dead. He can't be dead already. No way. Yeah, so if you run away, then do a 180. And you should be facing him. Right, he should be dead now. Normally, if they're falling down twice, that would normally mean they're dead. If they're falling down twice. Yep, yeah, he's got blood coming from him. He's dead. And is the other dude dead? Yeah, he is. They're both dead. Alright, let's just reload. Let's reload that. There we are. Um, arrowhead, examine. Yep, examine. Take it out and let's use it. Yep, head down there, grab the book, get the, and then examine the back for the key. Straight over here. Yeah, get his uh, book. There's a lot less ammo now, guys. Quite a lot less compared to normal. Right, let's just examine that quickly. Yeah, there's a key embedded on the back. We cover, remove it. Yes, the sword key. 
Oh, why? Right, back into the main hall. We're just heading straight down the bottom this time and uh, straight into that um, east, uh, eastern door here. Straight into there. Right, straight into this door, guys. Do not go back into the main hall from here because if you do this chance Barry will give you the acid rounds and if he does the shotgun game um, he'll not save you, save you from the shotgun area. Um, push this to get a dagger. We'll slightly go out of our ways to get um, defense items but only slightly. Um, if, you, if you have to go too far out of your way we'll not bother with them. That's because the defense items will come in useful now they'll save you to getting damaged. Yes yeah, so you just want uh, the dagger from that hallway. He's got that coming this door here quickly. And here. Right, um we're gonna we're gonna make a red and green mix here. We're not coming back in this room guys. We never come back in here. Um because if you do, you're going to get attacked by dogs. So any herbs in there that you've got free, you want to use some. Don't use red and green. Keep that. But use the last green that's remaining. Use that one. To recover your damage you took earlier. So yep, use that. There we go. Back to fine. Grab a chemical to use on plants. We'll leave one slot ready for the shotgun, which we're going to get shortly. Look back through here. Come through here just to get the um, dagger that's in the bathtub. Yeah, take a plug out. There we go. Get the dagger. It doesn't really seem like we're going much quicker, does it? I mean, we're on 15 minutes already, almost. I, I guess I did talk. For, I did talk about five minutes before we got started. Um, so back round into the shotgun room. Oh, bloody hell! A lot of a lot of um, bits. We will. They will be the same. Um, yeah, we do do them similar to what we do on normal. But there are there are a few parts that we do do quite a lot of different. Like the labs, for example. We all we take to the labs is a magnum. We don't take any of the weapons down there. Just a magnum. All right. So you got a dagger. Now take a shotgun off the wall. There we go. Uh, got a dagger and a shotgun off the wall. Coming here, the uh, roof will start coming down, ceiling. This scene only happens if you haven't triggered the acid round scene with Barry. Once it happens, uh, just interact with both doors. There we go, and then head back oh, to God. the middle, and uh, that great guy will come and help you. We're going to be saving shortly, guys. Yeah, so I'm I'm hoping, guys, this is going to be done in little manageable chunks. You know, you can just watch. You can watch for the next save point, then do it yourself, and then save, quit, watch me to the next save point, then do it yourself, etc., etc. I'm hoping it's going to be in little manageable chunks for you. Um, all right, shotgun, um, equip. We're going to kill this first enemy with the shotgun. Just be ready. Remember, you can't auto aim, guys, so don't run too close. The first shot of the shotgun is always a critical. Remember that. Once you've killed him, um, with what handgun ammo you have left, you want to kill this dude. Wait for him to come on the stairs so you can aim straight up. If he gets too close, or will run down again, do a 180. Right. Is he dead? Let's see if the blood comes from him. Uh, no, he's still alive. Alright, so I'm just going to run down here. Turn around. 
Oh, headshot, nice. Took a while, took a while, but we got it. So all we're doing there, we're just killing that one zombie with a handgun. Am I? He'll def. He should die with what bullets you have left, so don't worry. If you do, you're gonna have to use shotgun round, but hopefully you don't have to. Right, get rid of all this crap. Uh, we still need the key. Um, we'll put the healing item away. Grab a fuel canteen. We'll save it in a second, guys. Don't worry, we'll save it in a second. We fill your fuel canteen. That's it. Once you, right. I know it's full. Right. Once you've done this, guys, save your game. Yep. Save it now. Use the ink ribbon. Just make sure you don't overwrite that cleared data at the bottom. Uh, you, well, wherever you've saved. Don't overwrite your cleared data from normal. Alright, guys. Once you've done that. Once you've saved, guys, you want to put the ink ribbon away. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, put that away because you're going to need this space. This is all you need. Shotgun, the ammo, the key, the chemical juice and plants, and the fuel canteen. That's all you need. Make sure you've got a shotgun equipped. Make sure you've filled up the fuel canteen. And then head out. Right, um, so the first zombie killed it, that's always decapitation because the first bullet from the shotgun is always decapitation. And there's three other zombies, um, you need to burn these if you haven't decapitated them. I've decapitated the one here. Leave the zombie right at the end of this um, corridor, right at the opposite end. Leave him, there's no need to actually engage him at all. Come through here. Now you need to kill this zombie. Just make sure you're quick. Oh, nice, decapitation. And then this one here. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, bloody hell, three decapitations. No, four. Um, that's bloody hell. That's lucky, wasn't it? But he took three bullets. But they made up for it, didn't they, the de decapitations? They made up for it for me. Alright, so I'm going to grab a dog whistle from here, guys. Yeah, dog whistle. Uh, lighter. You need to make sure you've got one inventory slot now, guys. Very important. Because you're going to get the acid rounds from Barry soon. If you haven't got one inventory slot, you're going to lose them. So make sure you've got one free slot. Um, now we need to make sure all the zombies are burned that we've just uh, killed. Um, luckily I've decapitated them all so I don't need to, but it should be three, um, that's three, um, hopefully you decapitated them all like I did. If not, burn them, and if you need to refill, um, use the fuel canteen in the um, safe room we've just been in. But make sure you have at least one fuel when you come through here, and back to the main hall. There's the acid shells. There's only three, so you'll always have one left. But just make sure you have refilled your fuel canteen if you need to. Very important, guys. Very, very important. Alright, so through here. And unlock this door and come in. Yeah, you've used the mansion key. Alright, reload your shotgun if you haven't already. I should have reloaded that by now. Now it's going to be one zombie here, get ready to decapitate, well, try and decapitate, this ain't going to be a decapitation. Now once you've knocked him down, burn him. That's it, this is where we needed that one fuel for, and that other one, leave him. That's it, once you've set him on fire, come through this door. Yeah, that other zombie has a brown coat, just ignore him. Yeah, come through this door, right. Dog whistle time. Call the dog whistle. Quickly change your shotgun. There we go. Oh shit. I only equipped it. Yeah, get ready to shoot the dog that appears. Aim down here. One, two shots. That's it. Grab it straight after. Oh, I can't. Um, what you have to do? Exit the room. Quickly exit the room before the dog comes. Ah, fucking hell. I should have exited the room first. Right, as soon as you kill that first dog, guys. Oh, Jill, what are you doing? I'm trying to go through the door. Fucking idiot. Yeah, once because when you exit, you'll get rid of the dog whistle and it free up a slot to grab a dog collar. So, 
once you've killed the first dog, quickly exit to use up the dog whistle, then head back in. Now you can grab the dog collar. Just quickly grab that, that's it. Be quick. Now quickly exit for the dog comes back. And if you need to heal, um, go back in. The reason you keep leaving and coming back in is because then that dog doesn't get a chance to get close to you. So this just saves you um, saves you risk in wasting defense items, taking more damage. So just quickly come over here, heal, then exit again. Yep, use them. That's it, then quickly exit. That's it, guys. Right, quickly head to the stairs before that zombie gets a chance to come up. Quickly head to the stairs because on the stairs, all they do is this little stupid acid attack. Uh, run past him. Oh, where is he? Oh, there he is. All right, we'll just try and avoid him. <laughs> Stay away from him. There's plenty of space in that hallway, guys. Um, but if you just block your way, just lure him onto the stairs so you can run around him. All right, so... Um, fuck. Over to your box. Now, we don't want the shotgun no more. Put that shotgun away. Put the key away. Don't need that. Put, uh, put that away. Put that away. Put that away. <laughs> and put that away, guys. All we want... It's a dog collar now, guys. That's all we want. Dog collar. Come out. Right. Uh, careful, because that zombie there, once he's gone upstairs, run past him. There you go. Very easy to get past him, guys, when on the steps. Come through this door and lock it. Now, that crimson head that appears here, which is going to leave him now. Although I've got enough ammo to kill it, you may not have. You may not have enough shotgun ammo, depending on how well you fed. So I'm just going to leave him. Just in case you haven't got enough shotgun ammo, guys. Yep, so up here. The, um, he only becomes a nuisance a little bit later on. We have to go back in that corridor later. Um, but it's only one time. And if you do take damage, it's not the end of the world, is it? So grab this key. The real armor key. Afterwards, um, examine the dog collar. As a switch, press it. Yep. Coins it in inside. Yep. Turn it around. Press a button on the back to make it into the imitation key. Then use that. Yep. This one is a bit. Um, this save to the other save is a little bit longer. quite longer between saves now. I know, I know. Right, so open this door. Crap through here. Yeah, straight to this door opposite, guys, to avoid that crimson head. So straight into this door opposite, and you should avoid it. You shouldn't need it, but if you do, there's a herb there. Camera angles, here we go. This room is pretty bad for the camera angle. <clears throat> right, you want to grab the uh, blue. You want to grab the blue jewel now, guys. Yeah, grab this blue diamond now. Yep, grab it. Important. Gonna, uh, we're gonna grab the grenade launcher now as well. Come through here, grenade launcher. We don't use the grenade grenade launcher much, um, but it will help with some of the tougher enemies we have to 
engage. So we're just gonna grab this, grab a dagger and a grenade launcher, then we're getting out. We're not grabbing it. There's no herbs in here on real survival. So grab a dagger, grab a grenade launcher, get out. There we go. We won't equip it because you run you actually run faster with you actually run faster when you've not got um when you've got the knife equipped or no weapon, you run faster. So um, that's why we're running around with nothing equipped for now. Well, I got a grenade launcher now. We're gonna going to go to Richard uh, because we want we want the assault shotgun. We'll use the shotgun quite a lot, guys. So we do actually want that. And it's you have to go in that room anyway. It doesn't it only waste a minute or so trying to get it. Um, so straight through here. Well, probably a bit more than a minute. Probably waste a few minutes. All right, straight through here, Richard. Yep, back outside. Now we're just heading straight to the um. Uh, medical storage room now in the west side. Yep, I know where I need to go. We're gonna kill a zombie here now as well. Not not in um not in this room, but uh about two rooms away, uh, where the dogs were basically, we're going to kill a zombie there now, because otherwise he's going to burst into that hallway, and we'll probably run into him a bit later on, if we don't get rid of him now. I said in normal, in my normal playthrough, the reason I kill him in the uh, dog balcony place, is because if you kill him then, you don't actually decapitate him, um, you don't have to worry about him turning into a crimson head, because you're not in the same room as him, so we will never actually reanimate again, so as soon as you get in here, Switch, equip the grenade launcher, turn, face him, make sure you fire, you want to, you don't want to miss this grenade launcher, it's very important, he's dead, blood coming from him, and then head through the door. Yeah, one grenade launcher, and I should kill him, as long as you're about that distance from him that I was. Right, so quickly guys, um, so I'm going to unequip this, so I'll run faster. Quickly head down to the safe room. That's it. Before that zombie gets a chance to get to the top of the stairs, then you can just run past him easy. Uh, come in, come in here. Right, grab a serum. Yep, yeah, and that's. And you want the lighter as well, almost forgot that. Yeah, you want the lighter, guys, very important. Uh, where is it? There it is. Yeah, you want the lighter. Leave everything else, and let's go. So we've got the grenade launcher with the normal ammo inside it. We've got the lighter, we've got the armor key, and we have the serum and the blue gemstone. So make sure you don't run into that zombie, come down here and through here. Through here, down this passage, and we're, we're just going to use the blue gemstone quickly, guys. Blue gemstone quickly. Yes, there we go. Tiger with yellow and blue eyes. Yeah, grab the shotgun ammo. Yeah, about 2 hours 40 we're going to hit, I hope. Uh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> out, out through this door. Unlocked it. Right, so we're heading straight back up to Richard, guys. Give him a serum. Then we're going to get the musical notes from the room behind him. In front of him, I mean. Yeah, it's in front of him, isn't it? The room passed him. I think that's a better way to put it. The room <laughs> passed him. Right, straight through here, guys. Apologies if you hear me um, talking to my kids at any point. I don't want to have to keep stopping this, guys. It, it can be a bit of a pain when editing, when I have to keep stopping and editing bits out. Um, but if I do have to talk to them, I'm going to just try and keep it, you know, normal. You won't hear me. 
you won't hear me shout or anything. I'll just talk to him normally, guys, and then uh, we'll get back onto this. I've just, they've just um, had dinner, um, so I think I've got a bit of time to get, <laughs> I think they're going to give me a bit of free time to get us when there's some real survival run done, as long as they don't take much longer than three hours. Alright, we're safe Richard, there's two green herbs if you need them there, so make sure you make a note of them. Right, once in here, you should still have five grenade launcher ammo, um, so just equip the grenade launcher, and we're going to kill this died, uh, dude when he comes close. Uh, once you see him, shoot. That's it. That should have knocked him down. And uh, once done, come through here. Well, knocked him down. That should have killed him. Right, unequip that grenade launcher so we move faster. Come around to the back here. Use the lighter on the candle. There we go. Push this cabinet. And then as I always like to say, I like to back into this room with the tank control. So use the D-pad to back into it and then just run out. I find that much easier. This cabin actually has shotgun shells inside on um, EC. But on normal and above it's always a magnum. Um, on normal it's a handgun and I don't think there's anything in it on real survival. So there we go. Mishkul score. Um, now quickly. No, I'm not going to get a door in time. I'm going to ask him. Oh shit, I've got to stop behind the cabinet there. I'm just going to lure him away. I've wasted a few seconds there. Sometimes you're quick, he'll follow you back around the opposite way and it just lets you run straight to the door. But yeah, that zombie's dead in here. There he is. Because if you don't knock that zombie down, he actually. He'll actually come into that room. Then you have two zombies to um, avoid. It's a bit of a pain. Alright, so back. Uh. Back down into the bottom, lower part of the west wing now. Alright, so up here, guys. Right, now I need to get a gold emblem from the end here. Yeah, I know this. It's been quite a long time between these two saves. I know, I know. Right, so we've got a gold emblem. Uh, sorry, not a gold one. We've got a rusty one. Just run into this guy. Uh, this zombie. Use a defense item. Don't actually hit him with any weapons because, well, we don't want to waste any ammo on him. And we do actually have to come back in this corridor later on. And he will stay here for the rest of the game. And we don't want a crimson head. So yeah, just use the defense item, get past him. Uh, run over here to the shelf. Push it out of the way. Right, grab that. Musical score. Head to the piano. Combine them once you're at the piano. Combine to make the sheet music and then use it on the piano. There we go, to open the secret door, head inside, grab the gold emblem and then put a normal one in its place to lift the trap door back up. I'm hoping I don't get anything mixed up here with normal guys, I am really hoping it. Because um, I've just done, I've just recorded a normal one before this, and um, the normal one. Um, I did a real survival last night, so I'm just hoping I don't get mixed up in my head. Where, you know, where the items are. I hope I don't get items mixed up. Alright, so now um, just head, hug the wall on the right like so and run straight past him and you'll he'll do that. If you watch my normal playthrough, you'll know when you um, run by zombies from behind, they always lunge and they turn and lunge and miss you completely. Alright, so down here guys, now back in this room. Into this door. Yep, use lockpick, open that. We're going to grab a defense item from in here and some ink ribbons. We're going to make a save, guys. Yeah, we're going to make a save soon. A battery pack. Ink ribbon. It may be because there's quite a long time between this save and the last one, 
it may be a good idea to just make a note of what items I grab and where. That may that may be better for you. Right, once you come out there, come down here, watch this zombie, he's going to be lurking around, there he is. If he's near that pillar, you can just um, lure him around the pillar so you can get by. Uh, so come in here, um, we're going to keep the ink ribbon on us now. No, we're not even, we're dro going to drop the ink ribbon off. Uh, so save your game. Yeah, it's an old typewriter, save your progress, guys. Yeah, so number two. Yeah, I'm getting a bit mixed up with normal, so just bear with me, guys. Um, so, we're going to drop the... We've just saved. We're going to drop off the ink ribbon. Uh, uh, item box, open. And you don't need lighter no more. Get rid of that shit. Uh, don't need that. Uh, we need the chemical to use on plants. And that's all we need, guys. Leave the acid shells there. We're going to need them here for later on. Yep, so you've got shotgun ammo, you've got a grenade launcher, you got an armor key, you got a gold emblem, and you got a chemical to use on plants. That's all you should have. So, you should have three free slots right now. Alright, careful you don't run straight into him. I keep forgetting, if I'm not lucky, I'm going to run straight into him. Alright, uh, through this door. Head to the end. I think the most important part between that first save and the second one we just done is when you get the grenade launcher, try and choose try to use only two bullets. Use one on that zombie in the dog terrace and one on that zombie near the room to the, um, where you get the musical notes. All right, so use the chemical to use some plants on here. Yeah, because we need we need four grenade launcher for the crimson head sort of mini boss guys. Once you put chemical to use in. Um, Turn it to red, important, turn it to red so you don't kill these green herbs over here. Now, we're not coming back in this room, guys, ever. We're never coming back in this room. And if you do, you're gonna, going to have to pass zombies to get into it, which you don't want to waste ammo on. So, um, what if you take now? Um, so what you're going to have, you're not going to be coming back in here. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to... First, I'm going to mix a full green herb, and I'm going to keep that on me. Just in case you need it for later. Because we're not coming back in here guys. So you've got nothing to use. Uh, to lose. And if you do need free space later. Just use a healing item. Alright. And I'm just going to heal as well. Fucking come on Jill. Sort it out. Sort your life out. Get out of green herb. That's the one. Alright. Um, grab this mask. There we go. Now, I won't use the herb just yet. I'll wait for a bit just in case I get... I'm not going to get damaged by anything or anything. Alright, so once you've got the mask, guys, and you've made um, a full green herb mix and a, a two green herb mix, exit the room. Now, be quick here, guys. Two zombies coming through. There they are. Ah, they're zombies. Alright, so um, straight back out here, guys. Be quick, and the zombies shouldn't have a chance to catch you. Uh, back in this hallway, back in this hallway again. <laughs> Just come back into the dining room. Now we're going to place a gold emblem on the wall, and then we can get the key from a clock and head to the snake boss. So, gold emblem. There we go. Now, because we put the ink ribbon away, we're not going to we're not going to be saving in this um, dining room like we do normally before the snake boss. Well, on my normal play, if you watch that, guys. Um, so once you put a gold emblem in that slot on the wall, interact with this clock and say yes, you want to try it and turn a large gear and turn it left or right, don't matter, you just need it at the bottom. Just keep turning, large, I'm going to choose left again so it goes down to the bottom. So you need the small, the small hand at the bottom, big hand at the top. Keep turning, no, because I've done it. It needs to be on 6 o'clock basically, small hand on this, uh, the green armour at the bottom and the big hand on the red um, helmet at the top and grab a key from it afterwards. That's it. Now we need to head um, up to the snake uh, snake room. Yeah, we would normally save in this room, guys, but because we've had to put the ink ribbon away to make space, I've not been able to. So if you get poisoned, you're just going to have to repeat um, um, that part again between the last save point and here. If you did get poisoned by the snake, but um, just try and be on your game, guys. We're not going to be attacking the snake. Basically, we just need to avoid its attacks, and we don't want to get poisoned because it's going to waste a lot. If we get poisoned, it's going to waste a lot of time, so which you might need later on. 
So yeah, if you get poison guys, you're gonna have to reload your save and just do that uh, sequence again, that section again. All right, so straight through here. Quickly through this door. There we go, discard. If that zombie's turned into a crimson head there, um, don't worry, because as soon as you um, come to snake and leaf, that zombie would have disappeared. Alright, so snake boss going to appear now. Now, as soon as you get control, just hold left and down, you know, sort of um, northwest. So that you run around him on this side, there we go. If you try and run away any other way, he'll probably catch you as he attacks his run away. So run away like that. And hide behind this pillar. All you want to do now, hide behind each pillar, lure him, let Richard kill him. What's happened? Oh, I wonder what happened then. Yeah, just hide behind each pillar, wait for him to come over, then head over to the next one. Make sure the camera angle stays pointing like this so you can actually see. Yeah, so just stay behind each pillar, wait for him to come down. Whoa, whoa. I'm not sure what happened then, I think it's because I poked my head out. Yeah, so make sure you stay behind the pillars. Don't leave it. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, shit. Shit, I'm stuck. Yeah, do not leave it too... You, the timing has to be sort of right. If you come out too early and too late, he will not go behind the pillar like he did then. Or he might he might even try and attack you. So you just need to get the timing right. As he goes around the pillar, that's when you have to come out the opposite side and run, you know, run back down to the other one. Right, so Richard's dead now. We just want to grab that assault shotgun. So first need to lure the snake away. So hold down now, guys. Hold down. So you run away straight away. Yeah, make sure you're holding down. Richard! <laughs> oh, well, he had a very brief stint in the game. Yeah, behind this pillar. Make sure the snake goes behind it. Oh, like that. That's it, make sure he goes behind it, then grab a shotgun quickly, and then quickly get the fuck out of there. Yes, done it guys. Yeah, he weren't, he weren't always attacking like that, I mean, because he did that attack, it gave me a good window to get the assault shotgun. But just make sure he's gone behind the pillar, then quickly run down, and you've just got enough time to grab that assault shotgun and to exit through the door. I had a bit more time because he did that attack, but as long as he goes behind that pillar and you run straight down, grab it. You've normally just got enough time, guys. So you just want to kill this zombie. Uh, yeah, so kill him. Come on, come in here. I'm going to wait for him to come to me. Um, bang, um, bang. Yeah, just kill him, guys. Don't matter if you decapitate him or not. Just make sure he's dead, because otherwise he's going to follow you into this corridor. Ethan, you charge his upstairs, buddy. It's upstairs, sorry. You want to charge his tablet up. Right. We want to get this mask from in here now. I need to free up the space. So I'm just going to use up that. Yep, use some mansion keys. Come in. They got they got a tablet, a new tablet for Christmas. And uh, he needs to charge it all the time. Right, but taking it off from tomorrow. I'm back at school. Alright, so in here guys. Um, press this one. Press it. I mean, push it towards the wall. So they push that one the far right. Then the bottom left to the wall the axe and then the bottom right and then that will make the top left go in and then um, you've solved the puzzle congratulations right press the switch in the middle now that's it to um, release the um, little cage hide in the jewelry box now take the box right um, you want to examine it now quickly examine it while you're here Press X on the on this side, the front side, and on the back side. Yeah, the front side and the back side where the heart is, the the pieces of heart, and then that will make it open. This room, I don't think I've ever really understood the actual explanation for the puzzle at the back of the, of the wall. I've always just come in here and just tried whatever, and then gone for it. Obviously, I've tried it a few times, and I've learned exactly the way to do it. But yeah, the explanation on the back of the wall where it tries to give you a clue. I don't think I've ever really understood that. Maybe it's just me. But alright. 
so just going to go back down to the item room guys so i'm going to come back up and get that wind crest so we can get the magnum uh later let's go here now barry's not really left anything good apart from first aid spray that's the only good thing he's left right now so through it open the box right um put the put everything away for now we just need some space guys so we can just grab some gear but keep the key on you very important you just want the key on you right it's no zombies no zombies to kill for the time being we're just heading upstairs we're going to get that wind crest quickly quickly get that wind crest that's it come through here Grab this uh, red herb on the floor. Yeah, you're going to make sure you've gave yourself a, quite a bit of, f about four inventory slots you want to keep. So make sure you have emptied out some of the items to that item box. We're going to be saving on the way back down there, guys. Don't worry, we're going to be saving on the way back down. Um, but I just wanted to do this bit first. So grab the hook from this picture frame. Hook. Um, grab the yellow beat. Fucking camera angles. Come on, Jill. Yeah, grab the yellow bee, there we go. No, do not press the switch yet. Uh, grab this um, realistic looking bee from here. Alright, now combine the... Combine... Fucking hell, if I can stop examining it. Combine the fish hook with the, the yellow bee and then use that on that picture frame. You charge it's next to Olivia. Ask Olivia, she'll help you. It, it, Ethan, it's on the floor near the keyboard. Upstairs, you'll see it. Right, guys, sorry. Yeah, once you pull that in the wall, quickly grab the wing crest. Quickly grab that wing crest. Oh, little dance. Nice. Like the moves. Quickly grab that wind crest. Right, straight through here, guys. I forgot what I was saying now. Um. Don't mind when you're, you're, you're. I'm explaining it all to you. Well, I think I'm explaining it all to you very well, aren't I? As we go along. Um, so just coming in this room, um, you're going to grab this ink ribbon from here. Ink ribbon. Quickly. You can hear me spamming the button there. And there's a green herb here. Grab that. Now quickly combine that with the red herb. Oh, he's coming back down. I was going to quickly save this game, guys, and I'll, I'll go and deal with my uh, son, and then I'll come back to it in a minute. Ethan, just give me one minute, please. I'll be upstairs in a second. Just give me one minute. Go upstairs. I'll be up in a minute. Yeah, so just heading back down to the safe room now, guys. Yeah, I'm talking to you again. Yeah, back down to the safe room. The kids are uh, not off school, guys, so I prefer to do commentary when they're at school. It's a lot simpler, but sometimes they don't really have much of a choice. So grab that first age spray. Yep, grab it, guys. Right, and save your game. Right, now you can uh, do that step if you haven't done it yet. Yeah, save your game, guys, and get ready for the next part. Uh, no, yep, uh, number three. Right, guys, um, right, put it, put the ink ribbon away, keep the shotgun shells. In fact, no, put the shotgun shells away, guys, we will be coming back here soon. Put the wing crest away, keep the key, you want the grenade launcher, the key, you want the assault shotgun. You see I'm not organising my inventory this time because I'm just trying to be f quick, you know. So you want all three masks, guys. Um, you want the grenade launcher, assault shotgun and the armour key. And if you want, take some healing items. Alright, I, I don't need to, I know what I'm doing. But I'd advise to take some healing items. Alright, you want the grenade launcher equipped and get out.
Oh, a zombie banging on a door then, but I have no idea where. It doesn't matter. That hallway is going to have hunters in later. So yeah, now we're discarding the key. I think, I think he, you know where the room is where you get the wind crest? I think he comes f through from there. When you've gone in there, when you come back through later, a zombie tries to come through. Right, press the switch on this yellow picture to make it turn orange, orange. That's it, come around the back. Uh, press this yellow picture to make it turn red. Uh, sorry, green. It will turn it green. And then this one, press this red picture to make it turn purple. There we go. Now, once you've done all them, um, come to this picture of the wall um, at the end on the wall and press the switch below it to open the secret door. Uh, now, grab the fourth mask, which is here. Yeah, grab it. I'm starting to make that frog noise again, aren't I? Grab it, grab it. <clears throat> yeah, that zombie that was coming through the door when we left the save room, guys, that you could hear banging on the door. Uh, don't worry, because he's upstairs, and when we come back in here later, all the zombies will have despawned, because hunters will replace them. Right, um, of course, we don't have auto-aim, but I think on normal, you're facing... Um, when the cutscene ends, you're facing the um, gate. But here, you're facing directly away from the enemy. The boss. The mini boss. So just using the masks on these guys. So that's a mask with no eyes. Uh, this is mask with no features at all. And what we've got next? Mask with no nose. Yeah, so we've got a mask with no nose. Uh, yeah, mask with no nose. So I think I'm... No, I'm not close enough. I wish you could just press X on them, X on the actual thing you interact with, and then it uses the item rather than you have to be hope you stood in the right place. Yep. So that's one with no nose, and then the one with no mouth on the one on the far right. Yeah. On real survival, you're facing directly away from the enemy. Well, not directly away, but almost. So if you just press a right analog stick, just press it left or right, or something, you'll do 180. Then you've got to aim, adjust very slightly, and you'll be aiming onto the crimson head this guy here with a nice clean feet the big nails that he needs to cut he needs to trim them down right so you're going to be facing away quickly do a 180 guys there we go aim it just slightly and fire your grenade launcher if you run out of grenade launcher rounds um, just use switch a shotgun each time you fire wait for him to recover before you fire it again oh see so he dies in three died in three yep Make sure you wait for him to recover his animation before you fire it again. Otherwise, it will not stun him. Yeah, press a switch in the coffin and grab a stone and metal object from the coffin, guys. That's it. That is it. Then head back to the safe room that we were just in. Now, um... If you have a grenade, we're not going to be using the grenade ammo anymore, guys, apart from the acid rounds, but that will be later on. So if you do have a round left, um, use it on this zombie um, in this next hallway. Um, but if not, um, don't worry, just use a defense item to get past a zombie. Or if you don't want to use a defense item, just lure him away. There's, a, there's quite a big gap here to dodge and you can uh, just run past him. No dodge, uh, just me lure him away and you can run past him. So if you've got a grenade launcher around left, just use it on him. If not, to get by, you'll just lure him away over here and then you quickly run past him like this and get past him. Oh, he got back up, he's not dead. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Fuck's sake, he's not dead, he just got back up, didn't he? Oh, well, so I'm going to do I'm gonna have to lure him away anyway. Yeah, so come back through here now, guys. We're going to make a save quickly. Um... And then just get our gear ready for the trip to the residence. Alright. So, grenade launcher away. We want the we want the grenade uh, shotgun shells. We want them. We want the wind crest. You want the stone and metal. So, you want shotgun, uh, assault shotgun even. You want the stone and metal object, the wind crest and shotgun shells. We definitely want all them for. And you need the ink ribbon to save. But we're going to put the ink, after saving, we're going to put that ink ribbon back in guys. Save 4. 
yeah that and um, that gap between save one and two that's probably the biggest time between saves we will do and the rest are going to be pretty small guys the one in the residence quite a big gap i think maybe um but i try and shorten that gap actually all right guys shit no i don't want that piece of bag of shit all right we're ready to go and um, let's just reload that again i've got nothing equipped guys because you'll run a bit faster Right, so that zombie didn't die, so if he did die, he could just run straight past. And you don't have to worry about him coming back as a crimson head, because he'll despawn later. Yeah, he didn't die, I can't believe that. Yeah, but just lure him away. Over here, and then when he's close to the wall, just uh, run past him. There we go, easy. That was a very easy... I wouldn't even call that dodge. That's not a dodge. I mean, you're not dodging an attack. You're just luring him. You're luring him away, and then just running past him when he's when there's a big enough gap. Right over it. Be quick here, guys. There's a dog. Quickly use a stone and metal object on this, and quickly go through the door on your right. Be quick here. Hold right. That's it. Be quick, and the dog shouldn't get chance to attack you. That part is all about being fast, guys. Right in here. Grab the shotgun shells. Uh, yep. Yeah. And grab the um, battery pack from the shelf. The first aid spray, leave it there. We may need it later, so just leave it here. No, don't pick it up, don't pick it up. Otherwise, you're just going to waste it. Leave it there. Like I said earlier, guys, just make a mental note of all these healing items we're leaving. So if you do need to get anything, um, you can just grab one on the way past. Alright, so come to the red wind dial. And stop it on west. The red one needs need to stop on west. Yeah, wind dial. I forgot a name earlier. But it came back to me. Alright, down to blue one. Stop that on north. If it's moving too fast um, and you miss, just do it again. And it, it's random. The speed it goes is random. I guess the wind changes direction so fast here, right? Alright. Um, with the blue one on north and the red one on west, you can head through the gate. Right, we're going to get the magnum, guys. Yeah, it wastes a few minutes, but it's a very useful weapon. Um, so, again, like on normal, we're going to just walk in between these. Use the tank controls to make it easier. Just walk in the middle here, guys. And then the crows will not attack. Uh, come over to this, uh, use a wind crest. There we go, use that to get them three, take them out and then use them on the other team, the other gravestone to uh, get the magnet. I oh know it's fucking annoying, you put one in just to get three out. Uh, you need to examine the back of each to make the little prongs come out and then you can use it. There we go, make them come out and then you can use it. Yeah, you got to do that for each one. Yeah, they've obviously done this. So, I, I, I did say this on my normal playthrough. They've obviously done this just so if you haven't got enough inventory space, you cannot get the Magnum. I know, it's a bit of a troll. It's a bit of a troll basically, isn't it? You come through thinking, oh yeah, I've, I can fit the um, wind crest in my inventory. And then you come here just to find out you haven't got enough space to actually get these three and to get the magnum. Alright, uh, that's it. Magnum is mine. Come to daddy. There we go. The magnet. Right, so back through the middle, guys. If you can, yeah, so s stick to the middle. The grass is a good indication of where the middle is because the grass is only on the edges. So just stay, try to stay um, in the centre of the grass. Alright, uh, through this uh, gate. We're heading up, up to the cabin now. And um, we're on what? What are we on now? About We're on about 50 minutes I think guys, aren't we? So I'm not doing too bad. You want to get to the residence within about an, an hour-ish. If you want to hit that 2 hours 40. 
it's not the end of the world guys if you do not do this in under three hours it just means you're gonna have to do another quick playthrough um, on normal but you if not three you'll definitely do it in five if you haven't unlocked it already and you can actually use the infinite weapons to unlock um, the rocket launcher anyway so you, if you get the infinite samurai edge you can use that to unlock the rocket launcher so that's good right straight through back here guys grab a crank we're not doing anything else in here Grab a crank. There's no ink ribbons, nothing, so we can't save. Grab a crank and then head out. Right, um, you want the magnum equipped. Important, make sure you've got that equipped. And as soon as you get control after this scene, aim and fire to stun Lisa Trevor and quickly run past while he's stunned. So as soon as you get control, guys, hold aim, shoot, and run past. And exit the cabin. We do come back up here later on, um, but we need the magnum beforehand, because otherwise you could leave the magnum here, get it later. Well, no, you couldn't, because you need it for him. So, no, you couldn't. So, yeah, ignore that. Right, quickly aim, shoot. Bang, you're, well, you're already aiming onto him. You just need to quick, you just need to hold R1, and then quickly press X once you've aimed. Yeah, you already aim, you're already facing him. So, just quickly hold, hold R1, shoot, and run past while he's stunned. Alright, so um, just keep track of what I'm doing now because in, in a minute we're going to have to walk so we don't alert a zombie. Once you get to this um, screen, walk. There we are, because otherwise you may run straight into him. That's it, then run straight past when you get near him. Yeah, if you don't walk where I do, um, there's a chance he'll be alerted to you. And when, you, when the screen changes angle... He may lunge for you straight away and get you. Alright, so you change back to the shotgun, guys. There we go. Um, head through this door. Shit, stay away from the birds if you can. Yeah, see, if you run too close, then they'll fly. They'll fly away and try and attack you. So, it's good to stay away. I've been thinking a lot lately. I think I'm going to try not to upload stuff too much. Because um, you may find I don't... Um, I guess I don't really add, do videos like this that much. Um, but I want to just focus on doing videos, you know, videos like this where I can give commentary, I can help you guys out, rather than just putting up, you know, like, the, like a Death Stranding series where it's just loads of no commentary. Uh, I'd rather just focus and... Um, upload stuff, not as frequent, but um, better quality stuff if you if you like. Right, as soon as you come in here, guys, turn around, come over to, to this lift. Well, there's no lift there at the moment. So dogs weren't, they can't attack you here. And just wait for them to come to you guys. You're going to waste a few minutes here, but this will let you do it without any damage. So just wait, wait for them to sort of pop up on your screen. Um, if it takes too long, you can sort of nudge out a bit. No, don't nudge out too much, because otherwise it will damage you. They will come to you. Just be patient. This is going to save you getting damaged. There's one. There he is. Alright, that's it. I'm dead. Should be two more. A lot of times you'll you'll um, be able to hit more than one at a time. So I can still hear one running around. Where is he? Come on. That's it, guys. See, I sort of got. Um, 
Yeah, I only wasted four bullets there because I shot more than one at a time. Yeah, it takes that will waste a few. It will waste a few minutes, guys. You could just run around and shoot them, but you don't have auto aim. If you do it that way, you're not going to take any damage. It's just going to take a few minutes longer. Uh, that's all. But as you can see, that's a safer way to do it. Um, so come over to this crank now, uh, this crank slot, and use a crank on it to um, lower the water. Yeah, the dogs, um, when you stood near that lift, where the lift will come later, the dogs will not attack you for some reason. They will still sort of come to you every now and then. They will be alerted to you, but they will not attack you. So yeah, that's a, that's a save. Yeah, it's not necessarily the quickest way, guys, but it's the safest way to do it. Alright, um, so up here. Now, there's going to be some snakes here on the way back through. And there's going to be one particular snake, which is going to be here, where I'm standing right now, next to that lamp. And what we're going to, when we come through here later, we're going to quickly run to this corner, this corner here. Then we're going to run down, we're going to aim, and we're going to shoot it quickly, and then carry on. I don't want to hang around too much there, guys, because we've got, we're against the time here. But yeah, we want to kill that snake um, later on. He's going to be coiled, or coiled up in the corner near that lamp, because if you don't, he will likely poison you guys. You can dodge him if you take the right path, but he's likely going to poison you. And you have to go back through that again later. So um, there's two times you have to pass that when the snake's there, and he'll likely poison you one of them times if you don't um, kill him. So just head straight along this path, guys, and straight into the residence. Yeah, straight into the residence. Now there's not as many blue there's not as many blue herbs now in real survival. Um so I need to try and make sure we don't get poisoned too much. But come through here, make sure your shotgun is loaded. Uh, yes it is. And it's gonna spider here. Um it's gonna take two or three bullets, so straight away aim up and fire. Aim up and fire. There we go. It fucking poisoned me, really. Alright, yeah, aim up and fire and then shoot him when he falls down. Don't worry, there's a blue herb down here, guys. If you do get poisoned, there is a blue herb. Yeah, there's a blue herb down here. Um, so, in this first aid box, it's a blue herb. I'm going to choose that now. Uh, yeah, so you want the red book as well. I'm going to have to kill that fucking poison. Yeah, when you kill him... Um, yeah, you need to examine the front. When you when you kill spiders, um, yeah, let's use that. There we go. So all you really need is red book from there, and you want the blue and herb um, mix from that re uh, green box. Right, coming here after. Yeah, when you kill a spiders, um, I think acid flies out of their uh, back, their um, bag on the back, and I think that can poison you. I think that's what's happened with me. But normally. I almost always do that, um, and that's never really a problem. Just there, uh, I've unfortunately been poisoned. If you do get poisoned as well, just use that poison um, do herb we've just got. Right, push this crate down. Them hold them two holes in the floor. There are times when the plant will come out to grab you. It depends what direction you're coming from. Um, but if you just move the crate in the way I do each time, it shouldn't be a problem. Now, going to save the game, guys. Right, uh, let's reload. We don't need any more shotgun ammo for now, but we do want the shotgun, uh, just not the ammo. Right, grab this. Battery pack. In fact, guys, we don't need the shotgun. Uh, yeah, we don't. We don't need the shotgun for now, so we're going to put all this away. Put all your weaponry away. Everything, everything, everything. Um, except for the red book. We're going to need that later, but we'll keep it on us for now. And take the ink ribbon. We're going to make a save. So all you want, guys, is the green book for now. Yeah, use the ink ribbon. Uh, so save number five. Make sure you don't um, save it over your cleared data, guys. Very important. Do not overwrite that cleared data. <coughs> it's, excuse uh, me. Right, let's put that ink ribbon away. 
We are we are going to make a video on this safe, by the way, guys. Yeah, we are going to make a video just because it saves you wasting ammo on that uh, plant boss. And um, without auto aim, it's a fucking pain in the ass if you do not know what you are doing. It takes a bit of practice. It's not one of them where I can tell you a certain strategy and you can pull it off sort of first or second time. Like with most of this game. That boss, it takes a bit of practice to get the actual method down. So it's easier just to avoid him. Yeah, it wastes a little bit more time. But it's worth it. And the time it takes doing it is... It's much more useful to waste the time than wasting all the ammo. And the time it will take to practice. So yeah, come through here guys. Come into this door here. Right. There's going to be a zombie coming here soon. And we go. what we're going to do, we're going to use a defense item on it guys. So grab this key from the shelf. And change camera angle. And a zombie. Wait for a zombie to come in. If you don't, you may have to change camera angle a few times. But make sure he comes into this room. And once you've stunned him, exit. Exit the room. That's it. Make sure he goes into that bathroom, guys. And then exit, yeah. You want that zombie in the bathroom because um, it'll keep him in there then. Otherwise, you're going to have... If he, if he stays in the actual bedroom, um, you're going to have to pass, pa um, pass by him a few times. So, obviously, you would have to kill him. And make sure you actually burn him or something because he will turn into a crimsoner later. So, but keeping him in that bathroom, he'll stay in there. He won't actually try and come out. Um, so yeah, that's an easy way to um, put him out of the picture. So push this crate across. Once it gets to there, um, jump onto it and then get by. And that's how you avoid them plants. Um, come through here. Use the key and then discard it. Yeah, each time you move, you're going to have to push a crate either way. Um, because one, one hole, the plant will get you from one direction. The other hole, it will get you from the other direction. Alright, so we're in here guys. Um, just want to come in this door. Um, all that's all that's through there is a self-defense gun, which we don't need. We don't need that fucking shitty gun. Uh, drain the plug in here and grab the key from inside. Yep, yeah, grab that uh, control room key and then head back out. We'll just make one more safe now, guys, and then that's going to be it. Now we're gonna we're gonna have quite a long. It's, oh shit, no, wrong way, exit, yeah. So back into the safe room. We're going to have quite a long, quite a long spell now be, be, before we save again. I'm not sure if it's quite as long as between the first and second, but it's going to be close to that. Alright, so over here, guys, and uh, take the, you want to keep that, no, put that away. You want to keep the key, you want to keep the red book, and take the ink ribbon out so you can save your game. Uh, in typewriter, save your progress. Yep. Yeah, I did say earlier on that um, the time between the first and second save, I did say there's no other time, there's no other spell longer than that between saves. But I'm um, saying that I'm not. Sh <laughs> I know this between this save now and the next one is going to be quite a long uh, period, but I can't quite decide if it's as long or it's not. So I put the ink ribbon back away. So I've got the red book, guys, the key, and let's go. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I need to cough, but I have to keep uh, hold it in until later. All right, guys. Push this crate back across. Otherwise, a uh, tentacle will come from there and grab you. A vine, even. Right. So once you push it over that hole, uh, jump over and head through this door. The good thing about this, the one good thing about this um, speed run is the laboratory. We do that bit very fast. We do do the laboratory very fast, by the way. That's one good thing. The rest of it, it doesn't seem to be much quicker. I, I don't know. I don't think it does. But the laboratory is very quick. I think that's where we save. A, that's where we save a lot of the time. So yeah, come down this ladder. Yeah, I think that's where we save a lot of time. Um, I mean the. 
where we are now in the residence we're not gonna we save a little bit of time here but not much and um, we saved a little bit of time in the mansion i guess um, but not too much time yeah it's mainly in the laboratory where, where you get most of your time back i think so just going to push all these um, crates into the water now. That first one, uh, then this one, and last is that one around the corner. Yeah, after the residence, we're back into, we go back in the um, mansion for a little bit, don't we? Then we're down into the caves, and then we head down to the laboratory. The main reason we save a bit more time in the labs is because we don't really kill anything. We take one weapon with us, the Magnum. We don't mess about. We don't fuck about for weapons. We just take Magnum. Um, we shoot anything. Um, if it doesn't decapitate it, then it don't really matter. <laughs> we just kill it on the way back. So we we have quite a bit of uh, Magnum ammo left. We only waste it on... We used it on that Lisa Trevor in the cabin, didn't we? One bullet. And we used... Uh, about six ammo on the um, hunters a bit later. The three hunters that we kill with it. Because they're the only ones that really pose a problem. Alright, so grab this green herb, guys. Now, it's going to be two sharks here. We're just going... You're just going to try and outrun them. You may, you may take damage here. You may not. Either way, it's just not worth wasting the ammo. It's just definitely not worth it, guys, wasting the ammo here. So, you're just going to try and outrun them. About 75% of the time, I will not get damaged. About 75% of the time. Yeah, make sure you've got nothing nothing equipped so you run a bit faster. And yeah, just run and hope you don't get hit, I guess. It don't take too much damage if they do hit you. And yeah, there we go, guys. I didn't take any damage. 75% of the time, I will not take any damage there. And like I said, if you do... They only like give you a little nip on the back of your back of your heel. They don't oh your ass bite when your ass cheeks off. They don't do too much damage. So yeah, just just head through and hope for the best. That's always the best way, right? Just run and hope for the best. Right, um examine this board, see what valve it says. A uh, valve two for me, there it is. Remember what valve you have, guys. It's different every run. Um so just remember what valve you have. Then come over to this far uh, terminal in the middle. Press a button on it. Shark will try and break Emergency. that window. Emergency. That window should have broke. <laughs> it should have broke. Locking all doors. Locking all doors. All right. <laughs> Heard that a few times. Right. Now interrupt this panel on the right. That's it to release the safety, and then pull this control lever here on the left on the left terminal. All right. You'll see it will get stuck. You'll lose oil pressure. Right, like Jill knows about oil pressure, right? You come over here, press whatever valve was on that board that you read. And so for me, it's number two. There we go. It's not the end of the world if you get the wrong one. You just It'll just waste a few seconds and you have to press the right one afterwards or try again. Right, panel on the right again once you've um, done the valve. And then back to the one on the left to um, bring the safety shutter down. There we go. Okay, uh, here it comes. That's number the one on the left all the way down and the one in the, the right one all the way down. Alright, now uh, interact the terminal in the middle, guys, to drain the water. There we go. We'll be back in here later to do the V-Jolt. We'll be back here later. Uh, straight through this door. Right, it's magnum ammo through here, but you're not, we'll collect it on the way back, guys. Not right now. Magnum ammo, there you see it. Just flashed. We'll get that on the way back after doing the V-Jolt. Right, so um, head straight down to the end here. Stay away from that shark on the left there. If you run near to its mouth, it will damage you, so just stay away from it. You can't move, so uh, don't worry about it. Just stay away. Up here. Um, interact with the flashing panel in the corner to make it fall down. That little um, cabinet thing. That's it. And then push this control box into the water. There's our control panel. And then pull the lever down to um, 
electrocuted. It coiled over, coiled over. Right, head down, grab a key. Yeah, it's annoying that you have to come back down here again. I know it's annoying. I just find Plant 42 on this game, it's just, it's, it's probably the worst boss for me to be honest. The, the Plant 42, I just hate that boss. Be, I can do it, I just don't think, yeah, so back th through this game after guys. Yeah, I just don't think it's good to get beginners to do or, you know, because he takes practice to get him down. With, he's got all the tentacles flapping about his uh, vines and he's got a little bulb scattered about the drop, a um, little poison acid on you. Um, and then you have to try and shoot the big bulb in the middle and you can only do it when it's open. And if any vines are in the way, then um, you'll hit them instead, wasting your ammo. That's why I just don't like him. In Unreal Survival, you can't aim. There's some times the camera angle is a bit difficult to tell where you're aiming. And ammo is precious on Real Survival. So. Yeah. Please just have to trust that um, the reason for not killing him is a good one. Alright, guys, so we're back up into the actual residence now. We've left the Acro Ring and we can unlock. Um, this door down here now, 003 is it? Yeah, open this one, discard afterwards. No, 003 is the one inside. This leads you to a sort of gallery sort of area. All right, so just gonna grab a spray can quickly. Quickly grab that spray can, guys, at the back there. There it is, try and just zigzag to avoid the bees. They wouldn't do too much damage, but just zigzag so you can avoid them. Yeah, grab a spray can, one insecticide spray, yeah, zigzag try and avoid them and then come to this uh, control panel here all right now we've got to put a code in here now it's either going to be 365 or 356 or 536 or 563 or 635 or 653 basically any combination of 356 it will be but it's only six combinations that go into that so it's not too difficult and we start with three uh, so three uh, five Six. I always start from low to uh, lower to higher, so that's three. Now I'm going to change it to six and five. So, oh, I've done the three, uh, so I'm going to do five now at the start. Um, yeah, so it's not that one. Uh, okay. Oh shit, no, I've done it wrong. Yeah. So, no, it's not three. So let's try this way. No, okay, so this has got to be six, um, three, oh, uh, oh shit, fucking hell, it's running about to go through. So what was it for me? Was it, it was six, was it six, five, three? It was six, five, three, or six, three, five, one of them for me. Right, grab three bottles, guys, three bottles, that's all you need. You don't need four, there is four, but you don't need four, you just need three. Um... Yeah, grab three, grab water, grab some water. Yep. Yeah. Now grab the red one. Yep, yeah, grab it. Now combine that with the water. Pay attention here, guys. Pay attention here. Yeah, combine the red one with the water. Now grab a yellow one. Yeah, take it. Now combine the yellow one with that purple one that you've made. Yep, yeah, there we go. Now grab the yellow one again. Yep. Yeah. Now grab a water, water again. Yeah, now mix the yellow one with the water. Yep. Yeah. Then mix the green one with the orange one. And then get the red one. And now mix the red one with the blue one. And that's it, V-Jolt. There we go guys, V-Jolt. That's it, let's go. Let's go down. Make sure you pay attention there guys. You may want to make a note of it of what I did, the steps. I think I read them all out clearly to you. Alright, so come back through here after. Yeah, I think I said that all pretty clearly and pretty straightforward. 
if I go to if I go too much into it, it'll put, I think it will sound a bit too complicated. It's easy just to say mix red with water, then mix yellow with blue, example, etc., uh, etc. Et sorry. Now grab this map. Since you've got it, don't press X. Open your inventory straight after. Open your inventory straight after. And using insecticide spray. There we go. That's done. Now kill all the wasps inside so you can get the key from there later. So yeah, grab the map, then open your inventory straight after and use the spray. Right, back down to the uh, macro ring now, guys. To use a V-Jolt. We're on about 1 hour 20 so far. About 1 hour 20, I think. I've had to... I've had to pause the video a few times and um, head off. So that's why it's quite hard for me to keep track of the time. Alright, so down here. Just remember... You, Remember you grab the magnum rounds on the way back down here guys. We need them very important This is like bloody green mile this trip all the way back down just to use that bloody thing on the plants They should let you take it down with you, shouldn't they? They should let let you take the V-Jolt down with you rather than having to uh, backtrack all the way down here. Um, I guess because it removes a boss from the game, a boss fight from the game, I guess they didn't want to make it too easy, did they? But it's a bit of a pain. You did get, I did get a six. I have to come down here because I always find it better than killing the boss, but I did get a bit annoyed of always having to make my way back. All right. With um, with Chris. Um, sorry, I'll talk to you about it in a minute. Yeah, come through into the guard room, guys. You're going to use a V jolt in here. So let's run over to Root slightly, not too close, and then use a V jolt. That's it. He's dead. Um, he is it? He. When it asks you to discard the bottles, yes, you want to throw all them away. Yeah, throw them away. That's it. And uh, let's head back now. Uh, make sure you grab the Magnum rounds on the way, guys. And we're heading back up to the residence now. Yeah, with Chris, you can't kill... Chris can't actually kill a plant entirely. He can only sort of... When he does a V-Jolt, he, he just sort of does half 50% damage to it. And then he has to deal... Um, he has to take, uh, deal the rest of the damage. So it's not really as useful with Leon... Um, fucking Leon. Why do I keep saying Leon for? Because I've been playing Resident Evil 2 Remake too much. Yeah, with Chris, you still have to fight it, unfortunately. I mean, it's got less... If you do the VJO, it has less health, but you still have to fight it. So, unless you're on real survival, where you need the ammo. Um, yeah, grab this Magnum ammo here, guys. Very important. Then back up to the residence. Yeah, unless you're on real survival, where the you know ammo matters, and you don't have auto-aim. Um, any other difficulty... You know, normal or below, you're best off just with Chris. Yeah, with Chris, just to, um, I guess, go straight to it and kill it normally without um, bothering with the V-Jolks. You don't take much to kill him anyway. Alright, shit. I just had to, um, I've just had to go away quickly for a few minutes, guys, and I forgot to put it in rest mode, so I've just wasted a few minutes there. <laughs> but it shouldn't be a problem. So yeah, I just had to pause the game for a second. I've wasted a few minutes. I forgot about rest mode. I should have just whacked it into rest mode quickly. Fuck. Okay. Alright, so yeah, back to the gallery. Yeah, any emergencies, guys, and you have to quickly leave the game. Just whack it into rest mode. If you pause the game, um, the timer will still count down. So yeah, just whack it into rest mode. Don't do what I did and just pause it. Yeah, whack it into rest mode and then just go away. Do whatever you need to do. And then you can come back and the timer should have been paused. Just make sure you've got your applications set. So um, in the background, um, um, any applications are open are suspended. Um, Alright, so just come around here, guys. Getting a key from the end for room 003. That's it. We've got a red book. You need that. Bloody kids. Always f bloody... F they're fighting over something stupid. Yeah. Use the key on this. Discard it afterwards. There we go. No further use. 
when we leave the residence shortly we will not we will not be coming back in here guys we will not be coming back into the residence so make sure you don't leave anything important uh, all right grab this white book from here yeah and then put a red book in in its place now use a red book that's it a little puzzle all right so you put the red book inside reorder them yeah put its first book so change the first book with the fourth uh, change the second book with the uh, six and then change the third book with the seventh the last one that's it that'll open the secret door on the left here all right then head through you'll get the helmet key now yeah grab his helmet key yeah, so we just killed Plant 42, easy with the V-Jolt. Yeah, wait, it probably just wastes about five minutes doing that, but saves tons of ammo. Alright, grab this red herb here when you exit. Yeah, grab this red herb. Uh, mix, that, mix it with that green herb that we have. Yeah, mix these, there we go. Right, let's get out of this place. Got a key that we've got a key that we need. We came all the way through here just for a fucking little key. It's not oh well I guess we got the Magnum rounds as well, didn't we? Yeah, we've got the Magnum rounds, I guess. So all we really all we're taking from here is the Magnum rounds and the key, basically. Alright, uh Yeah, so you don't have to worry about pushing this crate now. There's no plant to um grab you when you run past a hole. Come into this door. All right, we're going to make a save now, guys. I think this, I think that was shorter than the um, other save point um, between the first and second. That's a shorter time, wasn't it? Make sure you've got the assault shotgun and the magnum, and you want the assault shotgun, the magnum, and the ammo for them both on you guys, and you want the crank. Very important. Now, um, just grab that ink ribbon, and we'll make one more save, and that ink ribbon will be used up then. Yeah, use the ink ribbon. Right, yeah, do not overwrite that cleared data in normal just to be safe. Yeah, so that's all my save slots. I'll go back to the top on my next one. Alright, um, yeah, guys, so make sure you've got the Magnum, Magnum ammo, shotgun, shotgun ammo, the helmet key, and the crank, very important. And take a healing item with you um, because we're going to combine this blue herb with it shortly. Because you may get poisoned by these snakes. So you come through here, grab this blue herb. And combine it with that red and green that we've got. There we go, we're not coming back here. Alright. And now we'll head through here. We've got plenty of defence items guys, five. All right, I'm just going to grab that shock, um, equipment, we're going to need it soon. Yeah, we're going to need this shortly. There's going to be two dogs in this next courtyard area. We're going to kill them. Yeah, they're not too difficult. Um, yeah, we have got auto aim, but you've got a quite, a, you got quite a big um, view here. So run over this dog, kill it. Be ready to shoot another one or that same one if it didn't die. Just be ready. Aim down the path. Yeah, be ready. It's going to come back. Is that them dead? Yeah, just listen. If you can't hear them panting, then they're both dead. Yeah, they're both dead. Right, just reload. Right, you're going to need to kill that. I spoke about you need to be quick here, guys. And I did mention this briefly earlier. There's one particular coiled snake you need to quickly kill. Um, so you want to kill it. Um, keep to the right here, guys. Keep to the right. Once you get to this corner, start running down. Kill that snake down there. That's it. That one I just hit in the corner by the lamp. You're going to be quick, be quick, and then down the ladder. That's it. As long as you're quick doing it. As long as you kill that one snake, guys, be quick and take that um, line that I did when I was running. Not it's that line, but try and keep to the corners and the snakes shouldn't catch you. 
Just that one that's coiled up, that will almost always catch you if you don't kill it. Alright, so we're back through here, guys. No dogs to um, worry about, we've already killed them. That's it, through here. <coughs> right, um, should be some little goodies that Barry's left. Yeah, Barry, yeah, Barry. Yeah, let's grab the dagger, guys. Grab the shotgun ammo. Yeah, we'll be getting rid of the shotgun soon, by the way. Yeah, we'll be getting rid of that soon. Right, we're going to need the magnum soon, guys. So, equip the magnum. Yeah, equip that. Make sure it's reloaded fully, fully reloaded. Yep. Yeah. And come through here. Now, it's going to be a hunter we're going to have to kill in a second. So, be quick. Do what I do. You're going to have to run away. Do a 180. And then start firing. So, there's a cutscene here. Here he comes. Run away to this door. 180. Turn around. Fire. He's behind an obstacle. I need to wait for him to come out. Otherwise, I'll probably miss. Oh, fuck. He's not coming out. Right. I'll either take one or two hits. Depending on how lucky you are. There we go. Two hits. He's dead. Yeah, one or two, guys. Now, there's two more in here. Um, But it's quite difficult to see the first one. It's a camera angle. So, just want to run down. Aim. Fire. Right. Wait for the next one. He'll jump down over there near the steps. There we are. Kill him. And shoot again. There we go, they're both dead, guys. That first one in that room is a bit difficult to get to the camera angle, but just run in, make sure your gun sort of point in this direction and fire. Right, guys, put a crank away, you don't need it for now. And put a healing item away, you don't need that for now. And we don't need the magnum for now either, so get rid of the magnum. Yeah, get rid of that. You want the grenade launcher. So, yeah, make sure you... So, you want the assault shotgun, the ammo for it, the grenade launcher, and the mansion key. That's what you want right now, guys. So, um, yeah, we're going to make a save as well. No, wrong item. Save. All right, save it. Olivia, can you go upstairs, please? I'm busy. We well, don't talk, then. What have you done? Sorry, guys. So what do you mean, look? At what? Olivia, ignore it. It's just spam. Don't ignore it. Just delete. Uh, just go off that. I'll explain it to you later. I'm busy now. Go upstairs. But don't listen to that. It's just an, it's just an advert. Don't worry. Don't listen to it. Yeah, don't listen to it. It's, a, it's fake. Listen, it's fake, Olivia. All right, go. Make sure you don't put in any details. Very important. Yeah, all right, guys. So, make sure you got assault shotgun, the ammo, the grenade launcher, and the key, guys. And then uh, come up this way. Yes. Yeah, Olivia, don't listen. Just leave it. Go upstairs. Well, don't. I told you before not to listen to things like that. Alright, grab this green herb, guys. We're not coming back in this room. And you may... If you need the space later, just use it. But um, we're not coming back in here later. So grab it. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. Daughter coming down is asking me about something. I'll deal with her later. Right, guys. This bloody annoying... This is an annoying puzzle now. The camera angle. First, push this... Uh, Statue all the way down the middle to the end. Don't worry when the walls start coming in. They will get stuck on the statue and they will not actually squash you. Don't know what's going on in them pictures on the wall. Alright, once you push it to the end, come around the back. And press a button on the wall, guys. There you go. Press that. Then once you press it, quickly come to the end. Back into the middle quickly. You need to be quick here. And then push your statue all the way to the left. You need to be quick here, guys. Because if you're not quick enough, you won't get a big enough window to push that statue all the way to the end there. Once you've got it in line with that um, crevice, it will slot in automatically. Once you're doing that, come in here and go down the hole. 
yeah if you're not quick enough um you just have to do it again now grab the red book from down here red book of the north and interact with this little altar and press the switch that you find on it to open it and then climb down the ladder we're getting there guys we're getting close to the end well, we're on one hour for uh, about one hour forty. I think that's about. We've got about an, an hour left, I think, guys, and we'll be done. Right, three spiders here. We're going to kill them all. Yeah, they're going to take two or three shots each to kill them. Oh no, 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 no! Damn. Have I been poisoned? Yeah. Don't worry. There's a blue herb in the next room. Fuck. Yeah. So if you get poisoned, you get poisoned. Right. One here, fuck. Yeah, kill him. Yeah, like I said, two or three shots, guys. And the shotgun ammo here. Grab the shotgun ammo in uh, the bottom of the boxes. Come on, Jill. Yeah, they can reload it. Yeah, there's a blue herb in this next room, guys. Do not worry if you get poisoned. Blue herb here. I guess there probably wasn't much point in killing them because they poisoned me anyway, but if you kill them all, there's a good chance you may not get poisoned, so I always like to. We've got ammo. There it is, the blue herb. Now combine that with the green herb, guys, and uh, or just use them both separately, don't really matter. There we go. Uh, we've healed. Now there's two zombies here. Don't do what I did on my normal playthrough. Don't run. Make sure you don't let them get too close. Oh, fucking hell. Really? One bullet? I killed... Damn. I don't think I've done that before. I killed two. I've Imagine if I decapitated them both. That'd be awesome. I don't think I've done that before. Two with one bullet. Alright. Come down here, guys. Pull this fuse. That's it. And um, we did get a defense item. So I can't remember if I mentioned that. It's a defense item here. I got that. And I'll come through here after. We're not coming back in here. So it doesn't matter if you kill and um, decapitate them or not. And then come into here, guys. Now that you've activated the elevator, we pull that switch around the back. Alright, there's one zombie down the bottom there. Let's just lure him out of the way. Just save a little bit of ammo. Alright, um, he's out of the way. Now come around the back here. And come into the elevator. Yeah, there's nothing in this room on real survival. Yeah, coming here. There's normally there's a dagger in here on uh, normal, and I think on easy and below. I think there's a handgun magazine in there, in there as well. And I know for Chris there is an old key in the kitchen. Yeah, there's an old key in there in the kitchen for Chris, if I remember. Right. All right, guys. Um, run over here. A zombie's going to come out from behind. Do a 180. Get ready to kill him. Bang. Bang. All right, he's dead. Goodbye. Uh, no, there's two green herbs. Um, you can get them, combine them. <coughs> yeah, just combine these two guys. That's it. Now, it's going to be another zombie in a second. Just be ready. Where is he? Come on, he's around this corner. Just be careful if you go right too much because you likely run straight into him when the camera angle changes. Alright, got him. Alright, and into this door after, guys. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I need to cough. Alright, grab the shotgun ammo. Even more. Alright, grab the magnum rounds. There we go. And... Grab the battery pack. And... Uh, grab the battery here. Right, come through this door after. Right, unlock it. Right, um, we're just going to head straight through this corridor now rather than uh, take a shortcut around it because there's going to be a crimson zombie. This is just an easier way to avoid it. Just be ready, guys. A crimson zombie is going to come after you in a minute. Just be ready to hit him. No, I can't hear him yet. 
Yeah, it's just around the corner there. Yeah, just kill these two. It doesn't matter when you you'll be you'll be coming back in the stream soon, but it will not give him time to turn into crimson zombies. Yeah, there he is. You can see him in the reflection. You see him, guys, that crimson head in reflection. Yeah, be ready. Come on. Yeah, quickly kill him. That's it. No, we don't need the shotgun anymore, guys. That's it. We do not need the shotgun anymore. Now, the reason I like to come that way around is because otherwise that crimson zombie is on your left. And it can be a little bit difficult trying to get him. Yeah, it'll be on your left and it can be a little bit difficult trying to kill him. Um, quickly, because you don't have much time and he might attack you. You've got plenty of ammo left, so it's easier to just come that way, guys. Uh, Alright, let's reload this, baby. I don't think we need it. We don't need it anymore, but... Yeah, so I had nine. I've got loads of ammo left. Right, so for now, guys, just put this stuff away. We don't need it for the time being. All we need is a grenade launcher for now. Um, yeah, we just need a grenade. To be honest, no, we don't. I don't want to come back here. Let's just save a game, guys. Sorry, yeah, save a game. So um, you've got this bit. Yeah, head out to take the ink ribbon. Save your game. And there we go. Yep, save it. Um, so number nine. Kids moaning again. Right, save your game. Come over to the box. Now, I can't quite remember what I did here. But right, just see if I've got enough space. We need that. We need that. We need that. Don't want that no more. Need them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, I've got everything. Alright, so this is what you want, guys. You want the key. You want the acid rounds put into the grenade launcher. You want the battery. You want the red book. You want the magnum rounds. And a healing item if you have one, I guess. Yeah, take a healing item if you have one. Yep, yeah, uh, that's it. Equip that, ready, you're going to need it. Right, up steps. We're going, going to go and kill a boss in a second, which is going to come in here first. Yep, through this door. Alright, uh, grab the dagger guys from the corner. You need the red jewel by the way. Yeah, grab the dagger from the corner. Now turn the light off. Yeah, turn it off. Yeah, don't turn it back on. Right, we want that red jewel. So um, push this cabinet to the end here. To the wall. Now, um, a trailer eagle. So it's looking at this yellow, at this side of the room. Now once it's looking all that, so I quickly run to the end, keep it to this wall, and then grab a red jewel from the reindeer's head. There we go, the red jewel guys, the red gemstone. Alright, now we can exit. We've got what we need. Yeah, through here. Yeah, we're gonna fight the snake. We're gonna fight the snake boss again now. Fuck, fuck, fuck. You used the mansion key. Right, be quick here guys, straight away, you can hit it twice, you'll be aiming on him, so quickly fire twice, acid rounds, twice, twice, and quickly go around the corner, he's going to attack, 
fire one more time, and then quickly jump down here. Now you've only, you should only have to hit him one more time now, guys. So run over to this, so the camera angle changes, wait for him to appear, and bang. There we are, four, that's all it takes, guys. So you can shoot him twice on the top, run around the corner so you um, avoid his attack, then shoot one more time, and then climb down, and then shoot him when he appears from behind the bookcase. That's it, four acid, uh, four acid shells, that's all he takes. And now grab this book. That's it. And we've used all the, we've used everything now, but we will be getting rid of the um, key soon. Right, climb the ladder, come on, Jill. Because you can't exit this room any other way, you have to come back the way you came in. Right, so we've almost done this part of the mansion. All we've got left is the caves and the laboratory. Fucking camera angles. Yeah, this is the last time we come in this hallway. Last time. So, any crimson heads, don't worry about them. Uh, well, that's it, guys. Not coming in this hallway anymore. I just wanted to go that way I did through there because when you come through that door in the middle, um, that crimson head is right on your left and if you're not careful, he'll hit you and catch you. Alright, so through here guys, back into the dining room, back to the main hall. And there's a door in the main hall we're going to head inside. Which is the final door for the helmet key. Yeah, this room over here, we're going to use the key in there now, guys. Yeah, use the mansion key, discard it, yep. Right, it's quicker killing with the acid shells you've got left. Oh, fuck, I completely missed. Oh, I missed again. Alright, I've got no ammo left. Hopefully you don't miss him like I did, guys. If you did, you're just going to have to bait him around the level, uh, right, level, around the room, and grab the jewelry box. Can't believe I completely missed. And then grab this jewelry box. Oh, I'm going to run into him now. You grab that jewelry box, and then quickly exit the room, guys. Yeah, I completely fluffed that up. Alright, um, now combine the red uh, gemstone, combine it for jewellery box and then solve the little puzzle on there. Um, just be quick, be quick here. Um, Alright, so first put our top left piece in, uh, try and tuck it in somewhere, uh, there we go, leave it there. Then you want this piece. That just goes to the side of it here like this. They're not going to be perfect, by the way. You just need to get them all fit, all to fit inside. Right, that's uh, that's it. I think that's a big enough space left. Right, let's get this piece in. Yeah, and then one more piece left, guys. Oh fuck! It's not going to go in. Oh there. There we go, once you've got them all in, I take the brooch out, examine it to make it turn into a key, and there we go. We've got one free slot, and there's some ink ribbons in here. Yeah, we want them. Alright, that's it guys. That room we're just in with that zombie where I completely missed it. Um, you may have noticed there's some blue herbs in there, which you can use. You can't take them with you, but... If you get poison at any point, guys, and you need a blue herbs, they're in there. But 
Um, you don't really want to be doing any more running around than what I am. So if you happen to run around to look for blue herbs or something, because you've been poisoned, you've got no um, uh, poison items left, you're probably best just to reload a safe. Um, yeah, so just going back to that east um, east wing storeroom now, guys. We're going to put a load of our gear away, and then we're going to head into the caves. Well, we also have the, I think, the Spencer room. We're just going to be heading into the Spencer room as well. Yeah, we're going to be getting a, a shotgun ammo in there, but we don't need it now, do we? Yeah, we don't need that shotgun ammo now. But we need to come in here. Yeah, discard the key afterwards. So you have space for the... Um, yeah, so you have space for the metal object. Now turn the lamp on, otherwise you can't see nothing. Yeah, turn that on. And grab this metal object from here. There we go. And grab the battery pack. There we go. Now let's head into that east wing storeroom guys, make a save and uh, head into the caves. We're coming up to two hours soon, so yeah we're getting close but all we have left is the caves and yeah just the caves and the um, labs and the labs will not take long at all. Yeah straight in here. Right, so let's make a safe first before we mess about with the item box. Alright, uh, no. Safe 10. Right, don't need grenade launcher no more guys. We don't need these books for now. Get rid of these. Um, we don't need the magnum ammo for now. Um, let's store that. Yeah, we don't want the ink ribbons for now. And we do not need this for now. But what we do need is we need the um, crank. Where's the crank? There we are. And you want a blue herb if you have one. I'm hoping you have. I've got one there. So just take a blue herb with you just in case. I uh, don't need that either. So you need the battery and a crank and a blue herb if you have one, guys. If you don't have a blue herb and you get poisoned, you're going to have to um, reload a safe because it's quite... Um, it's probably about... You've got five to ten minutes after um, the snake bit until you reach your next place where it's a poison uh, blue herb. So, yeah. <laughs> if you do fuck it up, you have to take that with you. If you do fuck it up, sorry, you have to reload the safe. Right, so. Straight through here, guys. And we're going to the courtyard now. We're basically going to... We're going to bed, head back along that path of all the snakes. That's where we may take some damage. Right, it's the first aid spray there. Remember, if you need it at any point... Alright, come on Jill. Nothing equipped guys because you want to do this quick so you'll run a bit faster when you've got nothing equipped. The only enemies we really need to worry about on this next area, there's two hunters um, which can be, if you're fast you can just get past them in time. There's like a big, there's that big spider boss. Yeah, it's that big spider boss but um, we're going to be quick so it shouldn't be a problem. So straight across guys. Follow that path, try and walk along that line I did, run along that line I did. And most of the snakes, well, they should all miss you. The one that is a trouble, we've already killed him. So, yeah, just take that line I took and they should be okay there. That's it, we don't need to go past some snakes anymore. So, we're good, we are good. Alright, use the battery on, this, uh, on the battery slot. There we go, guys, then use the elevator. Yeah, now we know we need to go and use a crank one more time now to um 
uh, bring the dam down to stop the waterfall so we can enter the caves. The square shaped hole. Alright, Jill, use it. Oh, facing the wrong way, right? Got it now. Anti clockwise. Alright, that's it, guys. Um, we're going to head back down the lift and then head into the caves. And we're going to make a save. <coughs> We don't really collect. We don't really collect much in the caves, by the way. Um, I collect some of the healing items, so we're not going to pass again, just in case you do need to use them. They're there if you need them. Um, but it's not really any. There's no ammo or anything we collect. No, there's no ammo. There's a. I think it's one battery pack, if I remember right. And the trouble. The troublesome sections. I am going to have you guys safe just before it anyway so nothing really to worry about right when you get down the ladder guys in the cave come to the end well I guess we're in the mines aren't we uh, grab this ink ribbon use it on the typewriter yep use it now save your game guys save number 11 Right, you can keep them items on you for a second. Now run back down the way you came and go in the door by the ladder. That's it, this one here. Down this path. Now this room we're in now, when we come back in there guys, there's going to be two hunters. And you're going to have to be very quick. As long as you're quick, um, they shouldn't get any damage in on you. As long as you're quick and hug the walls that you're sort of running towards, you should be okay. Alright, so through this door at the end, in the um, elevator room. Once we get the crank in here, the hex hexagonal crank, um, another hunter's going to burst through the door. But again, as long as you're quick, um, it won't be a problem. So yeah, grab this crank. There we go, the red-handled crank. Now quickly head to the door. There he is. Just head down to the door. There we go. If you're quick, he won't have a chance to damage you because he'll always pause for a second or two when he first appears. You'll find a lot of hunters do that when they first uh, make, when they first get eyes on you, they will pause for a few seconds, that little battle cry, and um, before they attack. All right, so there's two hunters near now, guys. Just be very fast. Keep to the walls that I do, and you should be good. So quickly from here, stick to the left. Head left, there we go. Uh, through this door, that's it guys. As long as you're quick, you should be okay. On normal, I do kill them. Just because we've got plenty of ammo. But real survival, that's the way you want to do it. Alright, now, we're going to save a game now. Just for a spider boss. So save your game here. This is going to be a spider boss soon. Uh, save number 12. There we go. Yep. Alright, now we're going to put some stuff away. Put the ink ribbon away. Put the green handled crank. Keep the red one on you. Yeah, put everything away except for the red handled crank, guys. And then use that on this. There we go. Yeah, so put everything away, guys, except for the red handled crank. Alright, head over here. Grab this green herb. Along here, up here, run to the boulder. Once you reach it, turn around and quickly run down and back into that tunnel you just came from. Just in there, that's it, tuck in there. Nice roll, Jill. That's a dodging, that's a dodging mechanics from Resident Evil 3 we're going to learn.
Alright, so coming in here guys, this is a big boss spider room. Um, as soon as you get control, hold right, run around the spider, grab a combat knife, and then just run to the run to the door, cut the web down, and take whatever damage you do, and uh, just go through the door as soon as you've done it. You're going to take a bit of damage here, likely, you may not, if you're lucky, and if you get poisoned, there's blue herb just outside, so don't worry if you get poisoned. Alright, so back around to the door, that's it, now get knifing guys, get knifing. There we go. If you're lucky, you won't take no damage. Oh no, see, you'll likely take a bit. I see, once you caught the web down, go through the door. Did I get poisoned? Um, no, I didn't get poisoned. All right, so if you got poisoned, there's a blue herb there, you just saw it. That's a, you just saw it for a moment when I switched screen. All right, come through this door. Right, come around here. You need to use the crank here a few times, guys. That's it. Use the crank here a few times. Just keep pressing X. You'll need to use it three times. And once you've used it three times and you exit the inventory, that boulder ahead, ahead of us just there, that will come rolling towards you. You just want to go forward and left slightly to head into the, a little passage on the left to um, avoid it. So, once, you, once we exit the inventory now, it's going to come rolling for you. Uh, yeah, so exit, forward, just go forward and left, there we go in here, and it rolls straight past. Now, where it was, there's a, um, there's a first aid spray in there, so um, just head back through here, uh, grab this first aid spray, there we go, first aid box. Examine that, get the first aid spray from his side, there we go, alright, and just head into this room, do a little puzzle. A little annoying little puzzle in here. Puzzle. Uh, to about what? Well, about two hours, five minutes, guys. All right. So first of all, head over to the statue and push it up to the part of the wall. The um, part of the wall that's coloured a bit differently. So up here. And put it to that part of the wall. There you can see it's just coloured a bit differently where the wall is. Then interact with. Use a crank on this. Um, fucking camera angles. You should crank on this crank. So I'm cursing the camera angles quite a lot. I'm sure you are. <laughs> I'm sure you are as well. Right, you should crank on that. That will push the statue out. So you can actually get to it from the other side now. Um, so just push it down. Until you can get behind it. There we go. Now run behind it. Well, you're not behind. You're at the side, aren't you? And now, now you can push it into this middle disc on the floor. That will rot rotate it 90 degrees. And... Once it's rotated at once, take it off, run back on it, and then push it back on it again to rotate it again. So it's facing the same way as the opposite stack, the other statue. Now, now push it off um, in that direction. Then once you're off the disc, uh, now push it down to that bottom space in the wall, <coughs> and it should go in. It should go in automatically, as long as you've sort of near it. So yeah, push it down to that space. There we go, guys. Done it. Now grab the um, cylinder from the wall. There we go. All right, let's head back. All the way back now, guys. We've got a cylinder. The key item that we need. Yeah, you're going to have to pass by that big spider again. So, if you didn't use, if if you didn't need to use a blue herb. Um, Take it with you now. But you should be able to run straight past this bit without getting poisoned. So just hold left, guys. Hold left. Now hold left. Run straight to that door opposite. If you just hold left, you should run to the door. Um, but you'll be just a little bit past it. You'll just have to recorrect yourself as you get closer. And there we go. Right, back through here into the room where the save point is. The passage where the save. It's going to save it now, guys. Because um, just in case them hunters instant kill you, we uh, don't want to have to do all that again. So yeah. Uh, item box. Put a crank away. Don't need it no more. Put a knife away. Don't need it no more. You can keep these healing items on you for now. We've got plenty of space. We'll just discard them later if not. But yeah, just keep them on you for now, just in case. 
Now, um, typewriter, save progress, use ink ribbons. Yeah, we're not coming back here, guys. So anything you put in this box, it's gone. So just, you've got some alien items, take them with you for now if you want. Um, so if you do get damaged, you can use them. <clears throat> They're gonna go to waste anyway. So save 13. All right, now back in this room, guys, make sure you've got nothing equipped so you run faster. Now, again, you need to be very quick here, and the hunters should all miss you. Just be very quick, guys. Run straight through, up, right around the corner, and there we go, in that door. There we go. If you do get hit, just use one of them healing items, but you should be okay, as long as you're quick. I'm almost... I think I'm I'm fairly confident to say 98% 90, of the time I never get hit there if I just run straight through it like that. Right, come to this panel, um, interact with it to take the shaft out. Yeah, take out the shaft. Um, combine that with this and then examine it. And rotate it until they all line up. Rotate it till all the numbers line up. There we are, keep going. One more. There we go. Once you've done that, use it. Now you have to type in the code that was um, actually on the on the on the actual cylinder when you match them up. So it's four, two, three, one. So four, two, three, one. That's it, guys. Here comes the elevator. Let's head down. Yep, head through there. That's it. Elevator switch. Press it. Press it. Jill. Jill. Oh, Barry. Two hours ten. Yeah, we're cutting it a bit close. I'm gonna have time to spare, but um, I just hope I hope you guys are very close to my times. Yeah, I hope you're very close to my timing. All right, so come through here, through here. Once in this camera angle, go left. Once you see Lisa Trevor, run the opposite way. Run the opposite way. Um, there's two green herbs here. Grab them just in case you need them. Yeah, just grab them, guys. I'm just getting them in case you need them. Right, I've, I'm going to combine these because I've got them left. Alright. And then head through this door here, guys. Yeah, head through this door. Through here, uh, push this crate over to the left slightly, and then push it upwards onto that uh, platform. Now, I don't, I don't mind the laboratory that much, to be honest. Yeah, because the laboratory, you can get through it pretty quick. There's not much backtracking in it. Um, I guess there's, well, I guess there's a little tiny bit of backtracking that you have to do. Um, but because you get through the laboratory so quick, I don't really mind that place that <clears throat> that much. Yeah, start this up, backtrack, interact with the panel, and start it. Send the elevator across. Right, once you've done that, um, we're going to grab a battery pack. Yep, quickly climb up these crates. There's a battery pack. There's a battery pack in the magazine, but we just want the battery pack, guys. So just leave the crappy magazine, hangar magazine. Right, that's it. That's all we want. Head back down. Yep, and uh, let's go. Alright, so Lisa, come down here first, and you'll see Lisa Trevor, there There he is. Then come up here. Down here. Back down here to the elevator room where Barry was, where Barry came down with you. Come in here. We're just going to get a flame, th broken flamethrower now. Barry's going to run away from you. Barry. No, Barry! Right, uh, come down the ladder. I did waste about five minutes because I had to bloody, I paused the game to go and 
to go and see to something so I did waste a few minutes there but I'm hoping it weren't too much I'm hoping it doesn't impact my time that much uh, so just push this across guys then push it under that compactor and then operate the controls on the left to um, send it down and grab a f uh, broken flamethrower from the box which miraculously did not get squashed saying that though it, it seemed to struggle to crush that crate didn't it? it struggled a little bit crushing that crate right head down grab a broken flamethrower right and head back into the door at the top guys <coughs> over here that's it surely Jill could have just um, prized the crate open with something surely there would have been something lying around in that room where you actually find the crate in the first place she could have just prized the lid open right when you come through here go left first so you see these are Trevor and uh, come back use this lever yeah, pull that down. That'll make the prongs come out near this door. Now head right. Keep coming. Keep coming down. Head all the way around down here. Down here. And use a flamethrower on the them two prongs that came out. There we go. And then come through this door, guys. Yeah, about to leave the cabin. Um, not the cave. Well, it's going to be two snakes here, guys. So be fast. Yeah, oh fucking hell. Yeah, be fast now guys. Turn on the corner. See them snakes behind me. Be quick and they won't catch you in time. That's it. They don't come out of the water. That's all you need to do. Grab this jewelry box on the left when you come out of the water. There we go. And then climb the ladder and escape. If you take a right at the top of the ladder uh, uh, down here. There's a green herb and a blue herb if you want them. But I don't need to cure... That's only in case a snake poisoned you, I guess. But they're there if you need them. Uh, climb the ladder. I'm probably going to end up getting rid of these healing items in a minute. But... Right, we're back in the cabin, guys. Got to just head all the way back to the fucking mansion now. Yeah, I know it's a bit of a trek. But we don't really have much choice, do we? <clears throat> right again there's that zombie is still here guys so um once you get to um this camera angle here start walking and then run past a zombie yep so pretty standard stuff that don't run when you're too close it'll attract you you'll attract it and it might it may block your um, path so yeah, just when you get close, walk and then quickly run past him. Now zombies in here now. Um, just run past them on the right here. There we go, fairly easy. I don't know why they're there. They're obviously there just um, in case you want to get a magnum. But we've already got it. I don't know who would want to get a magnum that late. Because it, it's helpful... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I hope that wasn't too loud. Yeah, I don't know who would want to get the Magnum that late. Because, I mean, it's helpful in getting past Lisa Trevor that first encounter. And it's good for getting rid of them hunters um, when you first get back to the mansion. Um, Alright, grab his first aid spray, guys. If you're not used to it, you may as well. We're not coming back through here, by the way. Just make sure you keep one inventory slot free. Because we need to grab a stone and metal object just in here when we come back through yeah we need to grab this here yeah grab that all right now we're going back to the um, safe room after we've done this playthrough i'll be working on um, invisible enemies next um, yeah, back into the East Ring safe room. Yeah, I might, I'm going to try and do it knife only with invisible 
invisible mode um, with Claire, uh, fucking not Claire Jill. I'm just going to see how it goes. If it goes pretty smoothly, I may record that. I'll just see how smoothly I can get it down to first. Um, but yeah, back in the East Wing storeroom now, guys. Um, so, what you want, I'm going to have to... Uh, right, I need to be quick here. So first, you want this. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Metal object. So just get that first. Um, open this jewelry box. And combine the stone ring with the metal object. Yeah, just combine that with that. There we go. Alright, now let's just get rid of these healing items for a minute, guys. I just want to see where, where we are. Right. Uh, Alright, so you want the magnum. You want the magnum ammo. Alright, and... You want... Both the books and you want both the ring, both the objects. So you want them two, you want the magnum, magnum ammo and the red and the blue book. Alright, once you've done that, take a healing item with you if you want. And grab the ink ribbons and save your game, guys. Yep, save your game. What I'm going to do, I'm going to pull the ink ribbon back and I'm going to grab another healing item just, just to be safe. You can take it with you if you want. If you want to make it safe closer to this um, encounter with Lisa. But it's, that's entirely up to you. I'm going to take a uh, healing item with me. Alright guys, let's go. All you want is a magnum and the ammo for it. That's all you need guys. A magnum and the ammo for it. There's only, in the labs, there's, uh, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven zombies we have to kill in the labs. So, I mean, I've got 12 bullets left and we only need, well, some sometimes the zombies will take two hits. But most of the time, well, no, I think they always take one hit with a magnum. It's just, um, it's not 100% chance of a decapitation. But most of the time, you will decapitate them with a magnum. No, not, there's not seven, there's eight zombies, sorry. There's eight zombies we need to kill the magnum in the labs. Now I've got 12 bullets. But we do get another magnum from Barry. Yeah, Barry does give us another magnum. Right, so we're almost there, guys. Almost at the end. From what, two hours, 20? Yeah, it's probably about... Probably about 20 minutes left. Yeah, I think I, yeah, I think that's safe to say. About 20 minutes left. Right, you need to use a stone object on these guys. Right, use. And use. There we go. Now head inside. Open it. Yeah, it's a safe point there. If you brought an ink room with you, we could save it. But we're heading straight down. Um, now this this bit of Lisa Trevor, we're going to be killing Barry, so we can get his magnum. It makes the last boss a bit quicker. And Lisa Trevor, just always try and try not to push any stones down when she's too close or he, because. Um, he may he may hit you, and if he hits you when you're too close to an edge, he'll knock you off, and it'll be instant death. So just always try and go to an opposite one. It'll force him to keep jumping across, and it'll give you time. So give the gun back to Barry. No, we want to keep it, but don't grab it just yet. Right, went straight behind him. Push this one. Yeah, push that, and quickly head down. Then push this one. Quickly run past him. Push this one. He's probably going to jump over to me now. And quickly go to this one, guys. There we go. Once you pushed all four down, that's it. You've done it. Right. Unskippable cutscene. Just make sure you grab Barry's magnum off the floor straight after, guys. 
Oh, I think I saw his mouth then. Yeah, right. Magnum. Yes, Barry's Magnum. There we go. You know what I should have done? I should have actually healed my health with one of them healing items uh, from the item box. Fuck. Before he left the East Wing store room. Because I'm in yellow caution. I didn't realise. I hope you guys did. I hope you healed your health <laughs> um, to max if you wasn't at max um, before you left all them healing items. I'm just going to use one now. Fuck it. All right. All right, guys. So um, we just need to head down, head into the labs now. Just open the entrance. Right. This one, we need to use a blue book here. Examine it to get the wolf medal. Yep. And use a wolf medal on it. There we go. There's one. And head over to the south. The south um, slot. Examine... Right, and use that one to open the entrance to the labs. Alright, then head back slightly uh, to find the path, the um, entrance here, head down and into the elevator. Right, we're in the labs, guys. We're almost, we're on the last stretch, almost there. We're on what, about two hours? What are we on, guys? About two hours 25? Well, I am on anyway. I should be on that. Two hours twenty or two hours twenty-five. All right, let's ink ribbon here, guys. So uh, grab that, grab that ink ribbon. Jill, pick up the ink ribbon, you idiot. Pick it up. Yeah, there we go. So pick up that ink ribbon, guys. Save your game. Uh, Fourteen. I'm going to have to come back to the top. Right, we're not going to be coming back to this room here until a bit later so um yeah put the first age brain here and put the ink ribbon away but keep both the magnums and the magnum ammo uh, make sure you've got the normal magnum equipped do not equip barry's one we're saving that for later equip the normal magnum guys all right we're going to kill these zombies near the magnum and hopefully you're going to get headshots so just run straight down here Kill this guy. There we go. Most of the time we'll get a headshot, guys, with this. Oh, not him, Fox. He's probably going to... It doesn't matter. There we go. Uh, come down here. Most of the time you'll be a headshot, guys. Not always, but most of the time it will be. And come down here, quickly kill this guy. In here afterwards. Uh, come around the back here. Yeah, grab this battery pack from the shelf. There we go. Oh, wrong way. Yeah, grab that battery pack from the shelf there. Interact with the monitor. Now you want to type in John. Uh, John. Ada. Fuck. I pressed the wrong button. Oh, fuck. So I pressed escape by accident. Uh, John. Enter. Then Ada. Try not to press enter, uh, escape this time. Then enter again. So John. Enter, then Ada, enter. Now you need to open both doors. So B2F, click on that. Then input cell, C E double L. Enter. You'll unlock that door. Yep, permission granted, thank you. Right, once you've unlocked that door, now B3F. Right, they're both unlocked now. B2F and B3F, so cancel, quit, yes. That's what we're doing in there, guys. Uh, exit the room.
Oh, the steps. That zombie, um, it, any zombies, if you didn't decapitate them up here, um, just be cautious when you come back later because they might turn into crimson head. It's not a big problem, you've got a magnum, but just be wary later on, they might turn into crimson heads. Right, once in here, come over to this control panel. Fucking hell, fucking get to it. Yeah, this control panel on the wall, and you want to put in, uh, 8462. That's it, 8462, guys. Yeah, once you've done that, come through into this back room which you've just opened up and grab the um, grab the key from it, the laboratory key. That's it. Uh, now exit. That's all we're doing here, guys. Just grab that and then exit the room. Alright, come down the steps afterwards and back into the main corridor. Alright, we're going to kill the other zombie this time that's in here. Yeah, you're going to kill him now. Headshot, sweet. There's a dagger here off the shelf. Grab this dagger. That's it. Unlock this door. Do not go in, just unlock it. That's it, just unlock it. Unlock this door and then discard the key afterwards and then head inside. Now there's two zombies here that we're going to kill. Um, I think I need to reload actually. Oh, I've got one bullet left. Um, right, two zombies here we're going to kill. There's one. Oh, I headshotted him. And then there's one behind me. Just here somewhere. Yeah, he's headshot. Yeah, kill him. There we go. Them two in there, um, if you don't actually decapitate them, don't worry, they, when you leave the room, they disappear. As long as you've killed them, that'll, that'll be them. Right, grab his first aid spray, guys. Grab the ink ribbon. Yeah, grab that ink ribbon. And now save your game. Uh, where am I? 15, so let's save 16. Right, we're going to have that bit soon where you have to you have to walk with the load with the canister, um, but come down here and then through this double door. Uh, now run up here and then around the corner. Quickly shoot that. Yeah, just quickly shoot that. Run around the corner. It will always it will always be standing here where I am. It, but if you as long as you're quick, run around the corner, aim, shoot it. And you should be able to kill it pretty quick before it gets a chance to like jump at you or anything. Right, take this capsule out from this um, little machine here. Yep, take it out. There we go. Yeah, make sure you're not <laughs> make sure you are not using Barry's revolver. Um, I keep saying because it's very important you do not use his magnum. We're going to save that for the boss. So just use your normal one. Right guys, back um gonna go back a through a few rooms now. Now the two zombies in here, you should have decapitated at least one of them. I've decapitated them both. You should have decapitated at least one. But if there's one you did um if one you decapitated though and one you didn't, make sure you take the path where the decapitated zombie was. Because when we come back through in a minute with the nitro compound, we don't want we don't want to risk a uh, walking extra zombie that's going to turn into a crimson head. So the zombie hopefully decapitated them uh, decapitated them both like I did. But if not, uh, go go the path where the one is uh, or that was that he did decapitate, just so we don't have to worry about a crimson head getting up. Right in here, shoot the zombie. Oh fucking hell, completely missed. Yeah, shoot him. Right, come over to here and interact with it to put a caption inside. Right, got a capsule. Alright, now unequip your magnum so you've got nothing equipped so you don't accidentally fire. And just walk now, guys. Just gonna walk now back to the place where we actually took the capsule from. 
Now, I'm not sure. You may even walk a bit faster if you've got nothing equipped. I know you run a little bit faster. Um, I'm not quite sure if you walk faster, though. Um, so, remember, guys, in this corridor, take whichever path um, where you decapitated the zombie. If you didn't decapitate them both. If you, de if you decapitate them both, don't worry. Oh, shit. Okay, now that's close. Yeah, I'm going to use the D-pad here, guys. Fucking hell, I'm surprised he didn't die then. That's lucky. That's the thing with the analog sticks. If you're not careful, you can accidentally press on it too much. You can accidentally put too much pressure onto it and run. Um, but if you use the D-pad, um, which is where the tank controls are, if you if you have the game on alternate uh, control scheme, if you use the D-pad, then you, you can only run if you press X as well. Well, for my uh, for my uh, control type, anyway. But yeah, with with the uh, uh, with the old controls, you have to press another button to run. So, um, using them, it's a good way. It's a good way to actually do this bit without accidentally running. Yeah, you can hear another one of them um, enemies somewhere, but don't worry, they're not going to come for you. They're just messing about in the corner near the other door. All right, so we're here now, guys. I'm going to put the put the capsule inside. There we go. Um, right. Nothing equipped. Right, we're just going to straight through here now, guys. Straight to the end. Take a right and straight into this door. Oh, fuck. As long as you're quick here, guys, you will not have to kill any enemies. Just be quick. Do not stop to collect anything because that will, that will um, um, make you pause for a few seconds. So don't stop. Keep going. Keep going. Coming to this door here. Yeah, you may have noticed that little tiny battery pack in the corner. If you stopped to collect it, them enemies would have had a chance to catch up to you and probably damaged you. So, um, yeah, straight down here, round the back, interrupt this terminal here, turn it on to activate the elevator. I said then take, keep going around this way, don't go the same way. Take a right, quickly go into this door here. If you did get damaged, not the end of the world, just use a healing item afterwards. Um, so again, quickly guys, through here, quickly turn, quickly turn, to the end, turn again, through the door. As long as you're quick, you won't really face any problems. One last room to get through, turn, get to the door, and enter, there we are. No more, well, no more enemies to worry about for now until we reach a boss. Alright guys, we're about to head to the boss, so we're gonna, just going to make one more safe. Typewriter, we've got the ink ribbon already. Uh, save the game. Yeah, I wonder what time I'm going to get. It'd be nice if I beat my um, original time. That would be nice. Um, when I first practiced this, um, I did 2 hours 38. So, it'd be nice if I can beat that. I've done I, I've done real survival a few times, but when I practiced this route um, that I'm using now, it took me 2 hours 38. I've actually remembered it pretty well, to be honest. Um, yeah, so just press the switch inside the elevator, then head inside. Yeah, I, um, you may recall me saying a few times where... Um, you know, apologies or I do make a little mistake here and there because, you know, I've, I've got the normal playthrough and the real survival playthrough going through my head and I was just worried about getting mixed up. But I think I've remembered, I've, um, I've remembered it pretty well really. I don't think I've made many mistakes. Yeah, I don't think I have. Alright guys, so up here, equip, now equip Barry's 44 Magnum, very important. Equip his Magnum now. As soon as you get control after the tyrant cutscenes, just aim and fire. It'll take one or two shots with this Magnum to kill him. So just aim and fire, guys. You'll already be pointing. You'll already be facing him. Just hold out R1 now if you want. Aim, fire. There we go. He took one shot. That's it, guys. One shot with Barry's Magnum. All right, come over to this panel. Activate it to release the locks. There we go, you've released the locks. Now, Wesker, you need to take his key from him, very important. Come to Wesker, examine his body, and you'll find he's got a key. Oh, there's a note. He'll have a key as well. Where's the key? Oh, there it is, it's just flashing next to his body. 
Yeah, make sure you get a laboratory key. Very important. It's just lying next to Re uh, Wesker's foot. Get that laboratory key and then exit. You can keep hold of the Magnum for now. And we don't need it anymore. So just use it to kill any enemies in your way. In case there's there may be one or two crimson heads in your way. I know there may be one at the top there that I didn't decapitate. So back into the elevator. Yeah, so um, if you rescue everybody, you don't need that key. Because, um, you know, Barry and Chris are waiting there for you to open the door. But if you're by yourself, you'll need to take that key with you near uh, Wesker's feet. Alright, so just head back up to the top. And we'll make one more save near the top. And then we're, we're done, guys. Heading to the end of about... Literally about four, uh, three, to f three to five minutes left of the game. In here, take this path that I'm taking now. Because if you take the other path, um, some of them um, cockroach-type enemies um, appear. If you come this way, um, they won't appear. So I wonder if this zombie's turned into a crimson head or if he's just despawned. Now there he is. Oh, he's just a normal zombie still because I'm so quick. <laughs> there he is. There's a herb there if you need it, guys. You shouldn't need it. I mean, I've still got um, first aid spray, and I think that I think in that green box is a green herb, I believe. All right, let's just check what's in there. I think it's just a single green herb. Yeah. All right, let's make a save, guys. Last save. I've got some healing items in there. If you need them, there's a first aid spray in there that I put in there. Alright, let's make a save. Uh, 18, save 18. So there you go guys, I've done it in 18, 18 segments. You can sort of watch each one at a time, uh, complete steps and watch the next one before you do it yourself. You've worried about forgetting something, just make, make notes. Uh, how much do I... Look at that, I've got 14 defense items left guys. You got plenty of defense items if you do make mistakes. Alright, so through this door you use the laboratory key to open the door. Uh, there's a healing item here, you, sh you won't need it. There's no enemies now, because we've not rescued nobody. There's nothing to worry about, so... But yeah, just come right to the end guys. We've done it. Because you've not rescued nobody, you do not need to fight the boss again. Yeah, so grab this uh, power unit here, this, well, fuse unit. Grab it and uh, use it on this panel. Come on, 60 seconds left. Sixty seconds left. What what time have I got? I mean, you'll know you'll know how long it's taken me from the length of the video, but I won't know until I've completed it. Now I want to see what time have I got. Like, so if you don't manage it in three hours, guys, it's not the end of the world. It just means you have to do another playthrough later, a quick speed run. It's quicker. It is quicker on um normal anyway. We have done Unreal Survival, remember, so that's made it a little bit harder. So, if anything, it's going to be easier. Right, pick up signal rockets and use them to end the game. And there we go. We've saved nobody. Every woman for herself. Jill Valentine. Selfish little... No, I'm not going to say the word. Every woman for herself. Right. Brad saved her. Right, what time we got, guys? Jill, you did a fine job. 2.41, not too bad. Um, I did 2.38 before, so I'm pretty close. But I did, leave the, I did leave the console for about five minutes. Like I said. Yeah, I did have to leave the console for about five minutes when I had to attend <laughs> to something else going on. Alright, guys, that's it. Two hours, 41. You've got 20 minutes to spare. So... If you're not, if you're not entirely on the exact, you know, running exactly the same as I am, if you're lagging a little bit behind, you can spare a bit of time, but not too much. It's cutting a bit close. 
I wouldn't waste more than 10 minutes or so just because if you're if you're on two hours 50 you know it's cutting it a bit close and I always like to keep quite a lot of breathing space but that's most that's the most I can get for you while trying to keep this route nice and easy that's the most I can get for you two hours 40 um, but you see we killed 54 enemies we saved a lot of times we still killed quite a lot of enemies considering um, that's it guys yeah real survival uh, real survival, um, Jill, rescuing nobody, and in under three hours. Let's see what goodies we've unlocked. Yeah, now if when you complete that, you'll get invisible enemies. I think you can unlock this by playing hard as well, but it's whichever you do first, hard or real survival. You unlock it by completing one of them. But yeah, there's invisible enemies, mode unlocked. Now, Resident Evil 2 Remake would be good with invis invisible enemies. It's a shame they didn't add it to that. And the rocket launcher. Look at that baby. Same one as in Resident Evil Zero, I think it is. Just a shame there's no Magnum in this game. Right, so yeah, make another cleared safe data, guys. Don't overwrite the other one, so I'm going to have two. I've got real survival one and um, the normal one at the bottom. There we go, two clear datas. So that's it guys, um, real survival. Yeah, I hope it helped guys. Um, stay tuned for more um, videos on Resident, um, Resident Evil 1 HD Remastered. Uh, what am I doing here? No, I'm not gonna, I'll just use, I'm just using an extra account here just to do this um, game and show you the trophies. Oh yeah, there's Invisible Enemy, nice. Yeah guys, so um, um, you may have just come here for this video, but if you're interested in any of this, and we can combine them all for platinum, uh, a nice easy platinum run. Or you may just find some else you want to use. I may do a few um, different ones anyway, um, just for those of you that may have not done it in under three hours. Or you may want to do the knife by itself. Um, yeah, because I think in my next one I'm going to do invisible enemy and knife only at the same time as Jill. And see how it goes. Um, so yeah, that's it guys. I hope it helped and um, hope to see you on another video. Um, take it easy.